Okay. Let's see if this works. Um, don't know if we're going to be live, but we'll see. Okay, turn on the music. We'll do some in-game music. Um, where are we doing this? Rune lights. Let's try this. Settings. Okay. Let's see if this works. Oh, privacy. Okay. Let's see if this works. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm seeing lots of yo's. I'm seeing lots of yo's. Um, can you guys all hear me? Can you guys all hear me? That's the most important thing I, I, I'd like to know. Can everybody here hear me before I uh, fix anything? Hi, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. You guys can all hear me? You can. Fantastic. What's up, everybody? How's it going? How is it going? We can't... Oh, you can't hear me. You can hear me. One of you... You guys are... I can't tell if one of you guys are lying or not. I cannot tell. Um, but... The music's very quiet. Okay, I, I... Do you guys want to hear RuneScape music in the background? Um, I wasn't sure if it's something you guys wanted to hear. I, I, I don't want to play any... Uh, I don't want to play any copyrighted music in the background, so I figured I would just play RuneScape music. If you guys don't want any music, we can just have silence as well. Um, anyways, uh, as, you guys, uh, as you guys know, I don't ever stream on YouTube. However, I figured since Gilinor Games was a pretty much purely YouTube series, I figured that it'd be probably the best idea to do this live stream on YouTube to answer a bunch of your questions and anything you guys might have about Gilinor Games Season 3. So just to get started, uh, thank you from the bottom of my heart to every single one of you who are watching right now. Thank you to everybody who watched any episode of Gilinor Games. Thank you guys for watching the entire season. I, um... Your breathing is in my mic. Uh... Let me turn my mic down a little bit, sorry. Um... I'm very, very honored that you guys all enjoyed the series and showed so much support and uh, liked it so much. I love you all very much. I hope you all had a great time watching the season. And for today, I will be uh, answering any questions you guys have about the, about the season. I'm going to invite some people on who are on the season if you guys have any questions for them. And yeah, so for the first... 25 30 minutes or so i'll probably just be answering your questions and then i'll invite some of the people on 
So yeah, save your questions. Let me just quickly message out the YouTube link to the people who are wanting to know. Um, and uh, yeah, let me try to find uh, the stream setting. I'm so new to YouTube live streams that I, I truly don't even know what I'm looking at. I don't even know what I'm looking at right now. Does anybody have a link to the live? I probably shouldn't be. Okay, now let me find the link. Let me find the link. I got it. Okay, here we go. I think I got it. Just kidding. We got it. Let me post the link really quick. Right, everyone, live with our games reunion episode. So to come say hi. Okay, send now. Sweets, publish. Okay, cool. Uh, awesome. So, let me answer some of your questions. Uh, thank you all very much again for tuning in today. As I said earlier, I don't, um, I don't do YouTube live streams that much, but it's cool to see lots of uh, different names in the chat. So, what do you guys want to know? Uh, Gilinor Games Season 3, when is it going to happen? So, for me, I have not started, of course, recording Season 3. I just finished season two i just finished season two i just finished editing season two abyss of fire thanks for becoming a member rich living thanks for the two bucks and it's will and oda block next season can we make it happen uh both would be really awesome to have on i they're definitely on the list of people i i, I might be inviting to the season to season three um both have i think showed interest in being on so i think it'd be cool to get them on so gg season three has not started planning yet i have ideas for the format i, I kind of know what i want to do for the format as you guys all know, season one was a big team versus big team. Season two was teams of two. It only makes sense that for season three, we do a different format. So I have, I already know the format I want to do. Um, I want, I need to sh sort out the kinks, of course, with, um, you know, uh, you, for example, I want the banning to be different next season. I want the voting to be different next season. So for me, I think the best idea would be, you know, a completely new season, new format. It spices it up a lot. There's a lot of things in season two that I think we could improve on. So I think that season three is a great, great way for us to improve on some of those uh, things that maybe people didn't find so great. So, yeah. Wow. Thanks for the five dollars. Bad friends. Rookies season with new content creators. Season three will definitely feature new content creators. I think it's very important that we have new faces on the show. I'm in world uh, 346, by the way. I think it's very important that we have new faces on the show. But as you guys all know, it's also very important to bring back some of the big names. Bring back some of the people who made the show so great in season two. So, um, as you guys all know, linked below this YouTube stream is a link to a survey for season two. If you guys want to, you can fill it out. You can tell me which people you enjoyed watching, which people you want to see on the next season, which challenges you liked, which bannings you liked, and you guys can fill out. And, and based off your feedback from Season 2, I'll create a new cast of players with better challenges, better bannings, a better format, and we can uh, definitely create a better Season 3. Season 3 has not started filming. My goal is to have Season 3 out next, next fall. Next fall, 2022, hopefully I'd say my my goal is maybe October or November is when season three will come out. It's going to take a year. I'm sorry, guys. But as you all know, this takes a very long time to produce. It takes forever to put together. But in order to keep it a high quality series and in order to keep it, you know, not rushed, I will definitely need to take my time with it and, and plan out the season like I want to plan it. The worst thing I can do is rush out another season because that will just lead to poor quality and that's the last thing I want. So, yeah. Um, I feel like I'm missing so much. Big nipples. Uh, I'm probably going to get demonetized for saying that. Thanks for the uh, the $5. It was the best. I love the contestants and Soup is the goat for making it happen. I hope everyone has a great day. You too, man. Thank you very much for the 5 bucks. Uh, Rich Loving, I think the banning next banning next season should be the last team slash players in the banning. Yeah, so that uh, that's something I don't mind talking about with you guys as well. Um, I had a lot of people talk to me about how they think there should be more punishment for for being in last place, and I mean you guys can agree with me or not. 
this season, if you got last place, there wasn't a there was a punishment. You got one extra vote for your team in the banning, right? But aside from that, if you were on a certain alliance, you know, the chances are that you wouldn't go into the banning. So what a lot of people have talked to me about is what about if the team that gets last place gets sent directly into the banning? So I like that idea. I think there should be a harsher punishment for, for being in last place. However, there also is the case of what if a team has a member disconnect during a challenge? Like what if a team, um, you know loses power or loses internet halfway through and they get last place because of that you know uh is that fair of me to to automatically put them into the banning like i don't know i genuinely don't know i do not know uh will you hire any helpers for next season so you're not doing it by yourself michael that's a good question next season i definitely would like to hire some people to help with the editing process i also would like to hire you know people just to to help with the whole production process, um, it's I, I'm so I'm such a novice in the whole industry with forming a production team. I I know very little about it, but for me personally, it would be way less stressful for myself if I get a team on board for next season, which means that we can have um, you know a lot of people helping and uh, a lot of people on board to streamline the process a lot better so you definitely you can definitely expect a, a production team for the next season i'm gonna have to go through the process of finding people to have on board who are willing to help who understand runescape who understand editing so it's gonna be a an interesting process youtube live chat is weird and censors a ton of messages if you don't switch from top chat to live chat at the top of the window oh ah let me switch to live chat i did not know that thank you don't cry over spilt milk okay it, it is now on live chat thank you very much okay let's keep up with the questions any chance we can get tasty in gg season three tasty is locked in i can already confirm tasty will be on the next season he has showed interest in being on, on the next season i'd love to have him on board I, I can definitely confirm Tasty will be on the next season, 100%. When is GG Season 3 coming out? Next fall. The fall of 2022 is my goal. Hey, Centrix. Genuinely the best live I have content I've watched on YouTube. Thank you, Soup. No problem. Thank you very much for watching it. What's my favorite soup? Uh, hot and sour soup. Hot and sour soup. Hey, Drum. How's it going, man? Good to see you. How long does merch take to be delivered in the U.S.? Uh, because it's the holiday season and because, you know, orders at the moment are popular all around the world at this time of year, it'll most likely take between, I'd say, two to three weeks for it to get together once we send out the shipments, which I, I think the shipments go out in a week and a half or so. And after that, it'll take about that time. Hey, Verf, how's it going? When are you inviting people on? I'll invite some people onto the stream who were on the season over the ne in like 20 minutes or so. So if you guys have any questions, I think a lot of people, I think Solo Mission's coming on, uh, Zulu, Verf, Tor um, Torvesta, Ditter. I think a lot of them wanted to come on and, and talk to you guys. So if you guys have any questions for on for them, they'll be on. Uh, they'll be on soon. By the way, I'm very sorry if I miss any questions. The chat's going very quickly. I do apologize. Have you talked about not allowing guides before challenges? Yeah, so that's something I have to figure out for the next season, you know? Like, I think there, there weren't that many complaints about this season, but the complaints that I did have were about things like, you know, people using the wiki, uh, people talking in clan chats during challenges and helping each other with answers, people using plugins to make certain things easier. That's something I'm definitely going to have to fill, uh, figure out for the next season. So... I definitely will be, you know, disallowing certain plugins for the next season. For example, like the Rogue's Den plugin, that's something I wouldn't allow them to use next time. I will still allow alliances for the next season, but I'm not going to let them talk in-game or in Discord DMs during challenges in order to, you know, not give them that maybe unfair advantage. So you guys can expect, I guess, harsher restrictions next season. That being said, I don't want to make it too harsh. I'm not going to go all out and make them play on, like, the, the regular client. I, I feel like, let's be honest, guys. Runelight has a lot of quality of life features that don't give you an advantage in the game. Um, that being said, I, I, I also think it gives you 
sometimes a performance boost, genuinely. So next season, I will still allow them to use clients, but I will probably tell them a lot of, you know, overpowered plugins or something that's not going to be allowed. So, yeah. How much time did you put into Gilinar Games 2? Okay, so I've had this question a lot. Um, season 2 of Gilinar Games began filming in February of this year. And we filmed probably once a week, one challenge a week, up until the first week of May. So the season itself took about two and a half months to uh, to record. I began editing the season June 1st. June 1st of this year, I began editing the season. I was editing about eight to ten hours a day up until a week ago. Up until the final episode, I was doing about eight to ten hours of editing a day. So for about five months, I was editing every day for eight to ten hours, which was way too much. But I really wanted to come out with weekly episodes this time. I think coming out with weekly episodes was way better than having episodes every two weeks. So um, I was really happy with, you know, the amount of work we put in. But for me personally, I, uh, I, I, was, I put way too much. I, I mean, I think it showed in the episodes. I think the episodes looked really good. But I was very burnt out by the end of it. So it's definitely something I need to um, to figure out for, uh, you know, get some people on board for the next season. Uh, questions. Hey, DMV, how are you taking care of yourself during production? Can you try to make the wiki not allowed? Yeah, next season we're going to restrict wiki usage most likely for some portions. We're also going to not allow a lot of plugins, like I said. So you can expect, I guess, harsher restrictions for that. Um, yeah. And in terms of taking care of myself, I have been inside of my room, inside my room every single day for a long time making this past season. So for season three, I definitely need to figure out a better way to, um, you know, have a team on board and, and not make it as grindy on myself. Yeah, Snipe Glider, the, the sponsorships and, you know, the ad revenue from the videos helped. The season did very well, so... Can I have Slayer Music on Gilinar Game Season 3? It's Will, Oda, I'm a Drum, it guides for us all next season. Down below in the description, guys, is a link to a survey where you guys can fill out your feedback from the second season. You can tell me who you want to have on, who you want to come back, who your favorite competitor was. That is the That, that survey is probably what I'll use to, to determine the cast for next season. So, yeah. How many people are on the next season? If I'm being honest, it probably won't be more than 20. It might be even less, 16, 18, 20 people. Um, I think 20 was a good number of people to have on. It definitely was uh, tough to have that, you know, edit that much footage. But um, I think it was a good number to have on. Question, was there an issue with participants leaking information before the video released? I don't think any of them leaked anything. Like, there was no issues with them leaking anything. I... I don't think people necessarily wanted to know any spoilers. So, and, and they were all very good at keeping a bunch of the, um, what happened, uh, you know, secret. I don't know about you guys, but I didn't see any spoilers leaked anywhere on social media, on Reddit, on YouTube, anywhere. So I think it was good. Question, are we going back to two teams or singles or still doubles? So season three will feature a brand new format. It's going to feature a format you guys haven't seen before and from the past two seasons. What I can tell you now is that season three of Gilinor Games will feature a format that will lead to chaos. Alliances will not know what to do. Competitors will have something different to worry about every week. It's going to shake up the game completely. So you guys can expect the format of the third season to be pretty nuts to be pretty pretty nuts that's all i'm gonna say um was solo mission helping torvesta's team in the elimination a made for tv drama or was he actually getting away without production knowing for what uh, for what challenge alex these are questions that i don't 100 percent know the answers to if i'm being honest guys if teams were dming behind my back i'd I don't necessarily know if they were. They don't have to tell me if they were. It's not my business knowing necessarily. Um, those are questions you'll have to ask them. Were there any quips or segments that were scripted? Believe it or not, there was not a single 
moment of this season that was scripted. All the insane things that happened just happened naturally. You know, Torvesta um, getting voted into the banning. Torvesta and Ditter getting voted into the banning in the first episode and then making it all the way to the final. You know, Torvesta versus Skill Specs having, uh, you know, being a banning. That I'm going to shuffle these. I, has the same song been playing this entire time, by the way? Oh my god, it has. How do I shuffle these songs? I just realized. The same song has been playing this entire time. Um, you know, all those crazy storylines, the solo mission snake storyline, none of it was scripted. It, it all happened naturally. So, yeah. Oh, you guys can't hear it anyway. Okay, gotcha. You can't even hear the songs? Okay, LOL. That's funny. Do you guys want to hear RuneScape music? I've already asked this. I'm not sure if you guys want to hear RuneScape music. So, yeah. Um, what goes into picking players? Uh, yeah, I'll just turn off the music. I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm just going to turn it off. What goes into picking players to compete? Is it just who you decide? Is there anything you specifically look for in content creators? Um, yo, thank you very much for the five euros, Mr. Harg Cole. Invite Rog and Link to next GG season. Again, uh, the feedback form below in the in the description is the great great way to um, let me know who you guys want to see on the next season. So when it comes to coming up with the cast for the season, it's pretty much just a case of um, who do I think would be good on the show. You know, I, I want people like what 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 do they bring to the show? Are they funny? Are they really good at the game? Are they willing to play a controversial role? You know. A lot of those people filled those roles this season. We had a lot of people who were funny. Uh, we had a lot of people who were good at the game. We had a lot of people who were willing to play a snaky game. And we had people who were all three. Uh, so I think it was... A, those are the biggest things. You know, who, who do I think... Who do I think is willing to bring the drama aspect? Which is perfect for a show like this, you know? Can you give a track list for your videos? So I... This season of Gilinor Games, uh, we used I used a company called APM Music, and they provided me with a library of like eight hundred thousand songs, you know. And because of that, I was able to use way better music this season. Like th this was like this is music that's used in like you know the the movie industry, the TV industry. I was paying about three hundred dollars a month to use the music, to use the library, but I just cut that from the cost of you know the Patreon supporters and how much money we made from the videos. But I think you guys can all agree that the music this season was way, way, way better than it was in the first season. Like I think the music really added to this season. I think it made it way more intense. It made the challenges and bannings way more dramatic, and it made the made this series just seem more professional. You know, so I think it was just a very good. Uh, it was a very, very good um, investment in, you know, the music uh, part portion of it. I think it was very, very good. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I like making things seem way more intense than they really were. I mean, don't get me wrong. A lot of moments this season were naturally intense, but the music itself adds that extra oomph. It adds that extra layer of excitement, which can make um, a maybe more boring thing seem you know, funny or more intense or way more serious. So I think it was super good. By the way, uh, Sir Herping Derpington, Herping Derpington uh, donated 50, 50 uh, pounds. Thank you. A gift to say thank you for your awesome content. I hope you get better with each year you make this. Thank you so much. That is so generous. I appreciate that a lot. Uh, very, very kind. Hello, Angus. Your favorite type of ring on the subject of music, the editing slash syncing, and the choice of music was great. Thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate the kind uh, the kind words. Um, if you guys are looking to support, of course, we have, uh, you know, the merchandise for the season at superrs.store, so check that out. Uh, and Federico, thank you for the, the $3 as well. You're a beast. Question, um, would you ever consider a three-man team instead of two? All I'm going to say is the format for the next season is going to be different. As you guys all saw at the very end of last episode... At the very sorry, at the very end of the finale, I leaked what the next season is going to be called. It's called Gilinor Games Free Agents. The season will be called Free Agents. What do you think that means? Free Agents. All I'm going to say is next season will be a different format, and I think you guys are really going to like it. I'm very excited. I use um my my headset is a Sennheiser headset. 
Uh, I'm in world 346, 346. Question, did you guys have problems with players following you guys throughout the worlds and in challenges given how popular everyone was? Luckily, we never had any issues with people outside of the game interrupting the challenge. We never had an issue with that. But that's because we usually filmed in areas that weren't as popular, so we didn't see a lot of people. The the people the place we saw people the most is at the duel arena, which is where we met up to meet every every single day. So, or where we met up, yeah, where we, where we met every single day. So, uh, Astari, by the way, good to see you, man. Thank you very much for the kind words. Very thank you, thank you. Were time zones a problem when filming? So yeah, if you guys think about it, it, it was very tough to to schedule people to be on at the same time. You know, we have people who live in New Zealand, we have people who live in Australia, people who live in Europe, people who live in the U.S. So what? What we would do, of course, is I'd send everybody a message asking what time they're able to meet. If everybody's able to meet at that time, perfect. Everybody gets on, we film the challenge, it all goes smoothly. But if one person isn't able to make it, we have to schedule a brand new time, and I have to send out new times to everybody, and I have to just fingers crossed hope that they're able to make it. So there was, luckily, because of the COVID, you know, the pandemic, we weren't as it wasn't as big of an issue because a lot of people were just at home and you know playing games online in general next time it's going to be tricky because um you know i want to have more people on but everybody has their own schedule nobody's is playing gilinor games as a full-time job so it's going to be tricky to schedule people to be on at the same time but my hope is that you know i can just tell these people that for the next few months we're going to be filming gilinor games on these days if they could make the time to be on, that'd be great. So yeah. By the way, guys, if I miss your question, feel free just to post it again until I answer it. Again, I, I, I'm trying to, I don't want to answer, excuse me, I don't want to answer all the questions too quickly. I'd like to preferably give, a, you know, some more in-depth answers to everything. So yeah. Um, let me have, um, let me have, let me message the people who I want to have on in the next 20 minutes or so, I'll invite them on. You guys can ask them any questions. How did you come up with the name Soup? My old name used to be Soup or Hero, spelt like this, Soup or Hero. But uh, I changed it to just, just to Soup because everybody just called me Soup. New cast for the next season? I, I don't know yet. I don't know. I, I haven't planned out season three yet. I know the format, but I don't know the, the cast. Can your fans help come up with games and send them to you? And if the games or ideas are used in the video, can we get RuneScape gold? <laughs> uh, good question. I'm very, I'm always down to hear suggestions for challenges and for bannings. I'd say probably 50% of the bannings this season and of the challenges this season were recommended to me by the viewers, by you guys. So I'm always down to hear your ideas for challenges that you think would be entertaining not only for the players to do but also for the viewers to watch the most a tricky thing if you guys you know if you think about it a very tricky thing of gilnor games is um it's coming up with a challenge that is not only like i said entertaining for the viewers for you guys but it's also entertaining for the the players but also can be done in under about 90 minutes. We have 90 minutes to film the challenge and we have about 30 to 45 minutes to film the bannings. So we have to do all of this in about under two and a half hours, I'd say two hours. Um, and it has to be something that's, you know, is entertaining for everybody in a sense. So that that's a tough thing to, to come up with. Are you a fan of It's Will? Of course, I love It's Will. Yeah, Will is hilarious, one of my favorite streamers. Uh, Mr. Run DMV, thank you for the 100 NOK. I can't say I know what NOK is, but thank you. That's very kind. I was entertained. My best wish for a good dynamic makeup teams with one entertainer and one gamer. Yeah, it's very important when coming up with a cast for a show that you have a big variety. You have a good dynamic of players. You have players who are entertaining, players who are good at the game, players who are willing to play the villain role, people who are willing to get down and dirty. You know, so... Uh, it's very important to to have that those people on so it's going to be tough coming up with a cast for next season because obviously next season I, w I would like to have the cast be different it's very important to have new players on for all of you guys who are asking can this person be on the cast i'm taking all suggestions down below the stream 
is a Google form is a Google survey where you guys can give your feedback on the season. And in that form, you guys can suggest people to me who you want to see on the season. So that's a great way to, to, sh to, to tell me who you want to have on. And based off the feedback you guys give me, based off the, you know, the, the names I see on the form, that's more than likely who I probably will invite on. Um, so yeah. It's, uh, it's going to be tough, though, because a lot of people this season, I think, were great. But it's, you know, it, it's, it stinks because I'm friends with all the players on Gilinar Games, so it's going to be really tough for me to not invite some people back and, and you know, in, invite only some people back. It, it, it's going to suck because I think everybody would love to come back, but there's no doubt that I'm going to have to invite new people on and, unfortunately, not invite some people back, so... That's going to break my heart, and I'm sure I'm gonna. I'm sorry in advance if anybody doesn't come back that you guys like. Moist critical, dude. It would be insane if critical was a part of Gilinar Game Season Three. That would be. I wonder if he would. It doesn't. It doesn't hurt to send him a message. It doesn't hurt to send him a message. It does not hurt to send him a message. Have you asked anyone to be a part of GG that turned it down? Yeah, the past two seasons, I, I, I think there was about five or six people that I asked to be on, but they weren't able to be on because of personal reasons or they were busy or they just didn't want to be on. For example, I, I was looking to have Foe be on season two, but he unfortunately uh, wasn't able to film on the days we wanted to film, so he couldn't be on. But I'm hoping that for the next season he has uh, he's able to make time and we can, we can have him on because I think he would have been really good. Wooks, you guys want to see Wooks. Do you guys think Wooks would be good reality TV entertainment? <laughs> I think Wooks would be I think Wooks would be great to have on for like one episode as kind of like a boss, you know? Like he com he comes on as a guest for a certain episode and and he's the boss for that episode, you know? I think him on an entire season would be would be kind of insane. Uh it would be funny. So yeah. Um sure. I'll probably just have everyone just get Soldier Boy on season three. <laughs> Do you guys just want me to invite celebrities on the third season? Just no more RuneScape content creators. I'll just only invite celebrities on. Let me get Brad Pitt. Let me call up DiCaprio. You know, let, let me get those. <laughs> let me see if they want to be on the next season. You know, they they would be completely different. That would be that would be absurd, man. Uh, <laughs> can you invite more females on? Yes. So this past season, I was I was sad because I did invite some more um of the of the female content creators, but two of them unfortunately weren't able to do it. But for the next season, I'd like to at least have you know two or three uh girls from the scene who are coming on and can add a bit of a uh, you know variety to the season. That way, it's not just a straight up sausage fest. Uh, which is going to be exciting. By the way, I missed uh, Cullen Brandt. Thank you for the $20. So kind of you. Thank you. Idea for a challenge. Shops. Got to find those shops that give the most bang for your buck to be traded on the GE. Also, it's on a PvP world where only binds are allowed. That's a good idea. I think PvP world challenges are really exciting. Um, I'll give you guys a little leak of an idea I had. All right. Can I, I need everybody to not... This doesn't leave the live stream. The most popular challenge this season that I noticed from the viewers was the hide-and-seek challenge. I think everybody liked the hide-and-seek challenge. It went over really well. Imagine the RuneScape hide-and-seek challenge, except if it's on a PvP world, and all the players are allowed to entangle other players that they see running to locations. That would be cool. Think of all the times in this season where during the hide-and-seek challenge, players were right next to one another running to a location. Imagine they were allowed to, to entangle other players that would be exciting that would be so funny that'd be such a good idea that'd be such a good idea ryan nelson thank you for the five dollars man i appreciate you please invite oda block oda block i'm not gonna lie to you guys oda block would be a perfect person to have on the show but he would be controversial and you guys know what reality tv always wants to have on the show controversial players i guarantee you right now watch this i'm gonna say do you guys want to see Oda Block come on the show? I guarantee you it's going to be a mixture of yes and no. I guarantee it is going to be a wall of yes and no. So coming up with the cast for next season is going to, next season is going to be very tough. It's going to be very tough without a doubt. 
I told you, look at the chat right now. Bro. <laughs> what did I say, bro? It's going to be 50-50. But those are kind of the people you want to have on the show. Those are kind of the people you want to have on. So, uh, yeah. Thank you for the $10, Mr. Manly Black. How are you planning to replace the snake in Season 3? The challenges were good, but the big brain behind the scenes was what was really good to watch. I mean, I'm not going to replace the snake. I'm going to bring the snake back. Solo Mission's coming back for Season 3, without a doubt. Um, which is going to be very exciting. Um, let me quickly message the people who are going to come on, everyone. For everyone willing to willing to come on the stream, would you all mind gathering in the competitors' competitors voice channel? We'll do a big group call and I'll ask everyone questions you can all answer. The group will will begin. Okay, sorry. I was just uh, messaging all the people who were willing to come on the show or come on the reunion live stream. Um, I think we should we should be able to get a decent amount of people, so it should be exciting. Man, you guys, uh, man, I I would I I honestly think most of the people this season uh, are willing to come back to the show. Like I said, but I think it's important to mix up the cast. I think it's important to usually the safest bet is to invite, for example, ten people back from this past season, and then ten brand new players. So what I'm most likely going to do down below in the description of this stream. There's a Google survey. You guys can all fill out the survey. Um, one of the questions is, who do you want to see on the next season? And who do you want to see come back? So based off what people want to... Based off the, the results of the polls, of the surveys, um, that's most likely who I'm going to invite back. Um, so yeah. Who do you think the MVP was of the season? I mean, let's be honest, guys. When it comes to entertainment value... I think there was one person that stood above the rest. Love him or hate him, you guys know who I'm going to say. Solo Mission was by far the person who made the games incredibly entertaining this year. He was a guy that people were rooting for. He was a guy that people were rooting against. I think there's no denying that when he got eliminated, something definitely left the show, without a doubt. But I think a lot of you guys watching can probably say that you were always curious what was going to happen with Solo Mission. Those are that that is so important to have on a show like this is a storyline that people are addicted to, that people are hooked on. People come back to watch for that reason alone, which is why I'm very thankful for Solo Mission for playing the way he did because he played a crazy season and we definitely made it um it, he definitely made the season very exciting. So yeah. What was your favorite challenge from the season? Uh, my favorite challenge from the season was the Underground Pass Relay Race. That was my personal favorite. I also liked the Hide and Seek episode, but my personal favorite was the Underground Pass episode. I think it was just very unique. Nobody's like ever kind of done it before. So to see it come to life in an episode, to me, was just very exciting. Um, I, I definitely want to have that type of challenge again. It won't necessarily be in the Underground Pass, but... Uh, a relay race, I think, is a really cool idea for a challenge. So, yeah. I definitely agree. I would have loved uh, to have seen the, the story of Jimmy and Framed play out. To be honest with you, the Jimmy and Frame storyline this season, there wasn't like a big... Um, there wasn't like a, the arguments this year between those two because they were aligned. You know, Jimmy and Settled and C Engineer and Framed were all kind of aligned with one another. So there wasn't really them constantly going at one another. But you did see when Framed did get eliminated that Jimmy, uh, you know, Jimmy was kind of flaunting to him like, hey, I, I stayed longer than you did, Framed. And I, I think that was pretty funny. So, but you know, things change every season. So can you get Spark Mac on the next season? I don't know. Like I said, there, there's... Thank you for the $5, by the way. I really appreciate it. There's a lot of people... It's going to be so hard coming up with a cast for the next season. I, ho I hope you guys can can empathize with me that coming up with a cast for the next season is going to be tough. Um, it's going to be very, very tough. 
I have to most likely not invite half of this cast back from this season and then invite, you know, eight to 10 brand new people. But again, to me, guys, the most important thing when coming up with, an, with a cast for a season is you have to think, are they good at the game? Do you think that they're going to bring entertainment by being very good at the game? Do you think they're going to be entertainment by being funny? Having funny people on the season is really is hilarious. Um, or do you think that they're willing to play a dramatic role in the season? Are, are they willing to play the snaky role? Are they willing to play the villain role? It's very important to have those people on. So coming up with a good, a good dynamic cast is going to be... I honestly don't think it's going to be tough. It's going to be... It will be tough in the sense that I wish I could invite more people on. But the good news is, is that there's so many people, I think, who are willing to be on the show that we I'm going to have no problem finding people who are will, who are willing to come on. But again, the toughest thing is going to be not inviting certain people on. So yeah, that's going to be tough. It's going to be very, very tough. What is your go-to Taco Bell order? I actually don't ever go to Taco Bell. I, I really don't eat fast food that much. I'm, I'm a home cook type of guy. I like making my own meals at home. It just, they, I, I just think they taste better and I save a lot of money. So fun fact about me. I really, I just, I don't eat fast food really. Um, so yeah. As you were filming, did you get a sense that the Torvesta carry narrative would emerge? How did Bitter, did or take it? Also, it's Will. He's literally a top five player who deserves at least a guest appearance. I, if Will is willing to come on, I'd love to have Will on. I, 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 I don't know if Will wants to be on. The last time I talked to Will, he called Gilmore Games Gilmore Games. Um, you know, Gil Gilmore Girls, Gilmore Games. Um, if that was a sign he wanted to come on, hey, hell yeah, man, hell yeah. J uh, Justin Ham, thank you for the $20. Uh, I really appreciate it, man. Very kind of you. Yeah, so the Torvesta Ditter Bitter storyline was also something that I think people really enjoyed. Did you guys, like, the Torvesta Ditter Bitter dynamic was so interesting to watch because... You had, you know, the Ditter Bitter whole, you had the whole thing with Ditter Bitter dying all the time and Torvesta getting mad at him and Torvesta carrying. But for some reason, every time Ditter Bitter and Torvesta got to a banning, they won. They, they just won, you know? So that storyline just played out by itself. Like it was so crazy to me. When, when we were filming the season, I was just like, this is going to be such good content. Like this is going to be something that the viewers cannot believe is real. These guys are always messing up, they're dying, they're, they're doing poorly in challenges, but when it comes to the eliminations, when it comes to the bannings, they knock it out of the park. Like, they don't lose. That being said, I do think that in the bannings they were in, sometimes the other teams, unfortunately, choked a little bit. You know, skill specs and Bodhi's game plan wasn't the best, and my boy settled so unfortunate, he went to the wrong shield in that, uh, in that banning and stuff. Um... But it's just like the dream. It's the absolute dream uh, to to have that type of deal. Uh, hello, Dobby Das question. How long do you take to film slash edit? Include inviting and participants on the season. It would be nice to know when everything started. So yeah, um, let me quickly take a drink. So I invited people. I started sending invites to the season the first week of February. So February 2021 of this year, I sent out invites. Three weeks later, we filmed our first challenge, still in February. The season finished filming the first week of May. So it, it took about two and a half months to film the challenge. I started editing June 1st of this year. And the editing went from June 1st until literally the final episode. So I was, I was editing about 10 hours a day for five and a half months straight. Not going to lie to you guys. That was way too much work. I should not have done that to myself. I, I, I put way too much on myself. But um, I'm happy that I, I personally think that the season turned out really great in terms of like a, from a production standpoint. I think I think it looked way more professional this time around. Like I think season one was more of just a casual show. And then season two was like, season two, like up, it upped a notch. The music, the the graphics, the the storylines. I think it, I think it, it went up way more, you know, so it was, uh, it was exciting. It was definitely a big process, but it's, it's tough. It's definitely tough. I found you via GG. Great work and dedication. I was hooked. Thanks, Dub. Thanks for the two bucks, man. You're a beast. But here's, here's the tricky part, guys. And I'm sorry, again, if I, if I'm missing any questions, feel free to ask the questions throughout the entire live stream until I answer every single one. I'm sorry if I'm missing any questions. It's going to be tough for me, guys, because I don't know what to do because this, 
creating Gil- Gilnor games, it's a it's like a it's a year round thing. It's 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 like an, a ten month process to create Gilnor games. As you guys all know, when it comes to making YouTube videos, it's very important to stay consistent with uploading videos throughout the year. So I won't lie to you guys. I don't I don't know how how I'm going to approach the next season because I I, I can't like. I put way too much work onto myself to do this. Uh, like I was inside the entire summer editing the season. I was I def I you know I I said no to trips with friends. I I uh, you know stopped going to the gym. Um, really stopped doing everything aside from editing RuneScape videos. I, I can't do that to myself for my mental and physical health. So for the next season, I think it's very important that I come up with a pr- I, I I have a team. So I think it's very important that I have you know an editor to help out with, uh, with certain things. Maybe I can get two to three people on board on the editing process. And I think it's important for me that I don't overwork myself because then I'll be burnt out. And the worst thing that can happen is you get burnt out and you know, the episodes don't come out. So yeah. Question, where can we check out all the music for Gilinor games? Um, so all the music this season came from a company called APM Music. You guys can Google them, APM, APM Music. I paid about $300 a month for the music license. But I think, like I, I've already said this before, I think the music license, I think the music this season was way better. So that to me was worth the investment, was investing that much money into, into the music for the season. Um, I'll definitely probably use them again. Uh, I think music is so incredibly important in bringing, you know, the show to life, making it more intense, making it really great. Um, so, yeah, it, it was definitely worth the investment. If you guys ever want to know a specific song, please send me a DM on Discord or Twitter. I'll get that song for you. And, um, yeah, and that, that's the best way. To, to If you want to know a song, just send me a DM. I can hook you up with some music. Always down for listening to new music, Astari. Always down. So, yeah. Uh, did you have a challenge or banning that you wish would have played but couldn't for one reason or another? Yes, there was a challenge that we were going to do that I can't remember off the top of my head right now. Oh, yeah. So I wanted to do a Hollowed Sepulcher episode. If you guys know, the Hollowed Sepulcher is like an agility obstacle course. I mean, all the agility things are obstacle courses, but it's a really exciting obstacle course. It's called the Hollowed Sepulcher. I think a really cool challenge would be to have all the competitors do the Hollowed Sepulcher at the same time. I think that'd be a really cool challenge. However, not everybody had the same agility level. So we, I had to cancel that because, you know, I don't want to have people who are 99 agility doing the Hollowed Sepulcher with people who are level 60 agility. So fingers crossed. I need everybody to, to, to send a pray hand emoji right now. Fingers crossed for the next season. Jagex can hook us up with a world, a private world, We can customize stats. We can customize gear. That way we have no distractions. We don't have to worry about level discrepancies. And we can make the season even better with the challenges and the bannings and make it as good as possible. So fingers crossed. Fingers crossed Jagex can hook us up with that. Yeah, like a no runelight hollowed sepulcher would be very, very exciting. Very, very exciting. Okay, um, let me... Uh, okay, cool. So guys, I have some of the competitors waiting for me in the live stream right now, or in the Gilinor Games Discord right now. I've got Z- uh, Zulu, Verf, Vertoso, and Solo Mission waiting for me. I'm going to hop into a call with all of them right now. We're going to talk about the season a little bit. If you guys have any questions for Zulu, Vertoso, Verf, or Solo Mission, um, feel free to ask them in the chat. I'll let them answer. And uh, if you guys have any questions for me personally, I will answer them after we finish the the competitor um, part of the, of the live stream. Okay. So save any questions you guys have for me uh, for afterwards. I'll be here for a long time. Don't worry. This is going to be a long live stream. I want to answer as many questions as I possibly can. And we will uh, then, um, yeah, continue with that. Okay. Let's join them. Boys, boys, boys. Can you hear me? Let me, let me turn you up on the live stream. Are we on stream? Yes, you yep. are on stream. We're, we're doing okay, it. We're cool. doing a YouTube stream. <laughs> doing a YouTube stream. Before I answer, ask you guys any questions, I want to see if they can hear you guys. So, for those in the stream right now, can you guys hear them? Can, some, can you guys just say like hi again, just to see if it works? Hello. Hello. Your whole chat is hissing. I the love. Whole ch- <laughs> 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 All the snakes. You guys can hear them. I can hear. Yes, yes, yes. Perfect. Okay. 
Wow, that's a lot of yeses. Okay, awesome. <laughs> Sweet. Well, thank you guys all for uh, you know for for being a part of this today. I think uh, people will probably will join throughout the live stream. But thank you to all of you for being here once again. It's cool to be in a call with all you guys again. I feel like it's been so long. I feel like we're about to start filming a challenge, you know. So, um, yeah, super excited. So I guess we'll just start off. I'll just do like a like a one by one really quickly of how you think the season went for you. We'll start at the very top. Solo mission, you, my friend, were a very interesting figure this season. Uh, probably by far the uh, the most talked about. So from your like from your end, just from you know, watching the episodes and 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 from playing the season, like how how do you think it, it played out from your end? Do you, do you think you you would have played it any differently, or I guess give your thoughts on the season? It's like a oh, confessional, no. isn't it? <laughs> I, I thought I thought it went perfectly for us, to be honest. Like you got to remember that me and um, Guns Chili, that's we were, the, our whole thing was we're quite a strong team. So if we just let everyone vote for whoever they were just going to vote for, we're probably going to end up with tons of votes. Yeah. So like from the very first one, I'm like, right. I think I maybe I realized it was a bit more about the whole voting manipulation from the start than other people did. Mm -hmm. But as we went through, like obviously people understood it a bit more. And um, I know you wanted that reality TV yeah. style feel. So yeah. We had to go for it, you know. Yeah, it, it was it was really good fun though. And like looking back, watching the videos as well, it reminded me of all the crazy moments that happened. Like a lot of people are like, oh, is it scripted or whatever? But <laughs> genuinely, like it couldn't have gone any better. Like certain times, like when I fought Torvester in LMS, like the Rogues Den stuff, all the different arcs. It was just amazing to watch. It is. And I thought crazy. it was just incredible to be part of. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm so so happy to have you on. Like, like I was telling these guys earlier that all the storylines throughout the season like genuinely just happened naturally. Like it was just mind blowing the things that happened. So it was, uh, yeah, absolutely insane. Uh, Verf and Zulu, the winners of the season. Thank you guys for uh, for being here. So you guys, uh, you guys played a more, I guess, you know, a more relaxed game in a sense. You you didn't necessarily make a lot of noise, but you came through when it came to the bannings. You know, you guys had some decent performances in the challenges and stuff. So. From your end, obviously, the season went great for you. You guys walked away with three bill each. But, yeah, I guess you just talk about how you think the season went for you. Anything stand out for you guys or anything you want to talk about? Uh, one thing I want to mention, like, at the start, we were very... We didn't really want to stand out too much, just kind of slide through the challenges. And I think that worked out really well. Mm -hmm. um, later on, the, the alliances, like, honestly, at least for me, like, I did not realize there were so many alliances between everyone and the drama that was going on behind the scenes. I, I had no idea. So watching back the episodes, that was really cool yeah. to see, like, everything unfold. That was really cool. Yeah, our goal was, um, like, to stay under the radar for, like, yeah, yeah. I guess the first few weeks and then later on kind of figure out who we can ally with or who we can or who we, like, need to worry about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys, um, people ask all the time, like, how did people not know the... Uh you know, these, these alliances were happening. Like, surely these guys aren't dumb. They, they know this is going on behind the scenes, but I, I, I think everybody was just caught off guard by the fact that solo was doing all these things, you know, behind the scenes and, and bringing all these people together on, in alliances. And I'm, kind of I'm just a nice votes. guy. Yeah, yeah. The episode, the episode where, where they won their first challenge, that was the one where like, we kind of figured out, okay, this guy is in everybody's messages. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. It's like, if you don't vote this way, we're voting you. We're yeah. Opening you. Well, I, I think the perfect episode that showed that was the, you know, the Fire Cape Challenge episode where, you know, S Solo and Guns Chili won their first aprons and they're like, OK, we have power now. <laughs> this is what's going to happen in the banning votes. And it was interesting, though, because that, that was like that was a funny moment to me because Ditter and Torvest, they got last that challenge. Right. So they had the extra vote for their team. Um, if C Engineer had just decided to stick with his vote for Torvesta then they would have gone in the banning except instead of uh who, who got voted in you guys verf and zulu uh yeah it, it, against it, the the engineer and framed yeah it was actually i'm curious solo so if 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 verf and zulu um or no what i actually don't even remember what happened yeah we did the pvp challenge yeah it was the against, pvp challenge uh, framed as the engineer yeah exactly yeah, oh, that's right, because, yeah, okay. So if Torvesta and Ditterbitter had been voted in that day, right, into the banning, if C Engineer had decided to stick with his vote for Torvesta and Ditter, would you guys have, would you have put in um, Framed and C Engineer still against Torvesta and Ditter, or would you have chosen somebody else? Well, if, Tor if Torvesta and Ditter went in, yeah. um, we probably would have voted in for Settled and Jimmy, I would Oh, you I think, think so? Okay. Because you at that point in time, they were the most distant team from us in terms of our interests. Yeah. And like, so we all, Tanzu and Vitoso were like 
our number one allies pretty much. Like I think we voted the same way every single time. Yeah. So yes, they, were, they were they were that the homies, the boys. Yeah. <laughs> so if so, if Solar them. Mission asked me to strip naked for him, I would have done it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was I was saying that just before, I was waiting to win a challenge for so long, and in my mind I was like, I didn't do this in the end, but I was thinking what if I told every team to vote for themselves? Like, would teams actually vote for themselves? <laughs> like, to try and make up the numbers? Like, trust me, trust me, trust me. But yeah. I don't think that would have gone down too well. But I it bet could Dave have and Jen would have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, yeah. You know, Jen <laughs> Vertoso, really of course, is here to introduce you. You had, a, you had a great season, man. You had a you know, much better, I think, time than in your first season, of course. Um, you you and, and Dave did a, did phenomenally. I think you, you brought so much to the, the show this time. So from your end, obviously, how, how do you think it went for, for you for you two? It went quite, you know, it went a lot better than I expected. I think we're a little bit of a surprise package. Obviously, you brought us onto the show for one main reason, which was our around game knowledge, skill, and ability of the game. So that was clear. Yeah. Um, and to me, it was no surprise we got there in the top three. And, you know, people say we, we, we rode the the wave, the solar mission wave. Um, I agree to an extent, but we, we held our own. Absolutely. We passed the banning. We, guys, we passed the banning. Yeah, you yeah. won an apron too. Like, you won an apron in maybe one of the toughest challenges of the season, the total level from, from scratch. Which, it was it was the hardest. Yeah. <laughs> which, uh, to be honest, the total level from, from scratch challenges, I think the challenge that everybody would take back if they could. Like, I think everybody would do it differently if they could, looking back at it. But yeah, it's tough, though, because, you know, like I said, I, I don't give you guys a lot of time to prepare before we do these. So, uh, yeah, that, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, that, yeah, I want something I want to mention because I've had a lot of people ask me this, but I saw some people like questioning why we would do so poorly sometimes in a challenge. Mm hmm. But I don't think a lot of people realize that you announce a challenge and I have like five or 10 minutes to prepare and you just go pressures yeah. on. So like, yeah, sometimes it's kind of hard to plan everything so precisely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I definitely think it's it's always worth mentioning to people who don't really know how we do the, you know, do the challenges that I, you know, I announced to these guys what the challenge is going to be. And they usually have less than 20 minutes to figure out a game plan for about an hour worth of content, you know, so that's not easy. There's a lot of on the spot planning where that goes into it and to do it perfectly, every single challenge is impossible, you know? So unfortunately their, their mistakes are usually just the ones that are shown in the episodes because that's what people you know kind of want to see. So that's on me, I guess. Yeah, looking back at some of those too, challenges, so. like the time, the time constraint makes it a lot different. Mm -hmm. Like that, uh, total level one, I think if we had two hours instead of one hour, for example, I think we would have smashed it. Yeah. But uh, our plan involved like a few quests and those quests took longer than we thought. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. By the way, uh, anybody in the chat, if you guys have questions for anybody uh, in this live stream, I think, you, are you guys all in, in the chat right now? Um, yes. Yeah, I, I mean, no obviously idea. feel free to answer the, the questions you guys have. I'll also ask you guys the, the question, any questions I see in the, um, in, you know. Yeah, I saw a question, what I'm going to do with the money. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> not that much, actually. Well, I'm, I want to do a giveaway next month. God. So that's something I'm going to do with the money. But other than go. that, I'm just chilling. Like I can buy stuff whenever I need it, but I don't yeah. do too much with GP. So that's like well, my rent cut me up. So <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. By the oh, way, yeah, me, um, go, me go, against, go, go, go. Oh, sorry. Me against Dave in the final would have been very interesting because it would have been like a repeat of last season, mm -hmm. uh, kind of coming down to the wire, kind of that redemption arc. Um, and Dave would have really done cool. you dirty, Zulu. <laughs> <laughs> no chance is he a source versus garden master yeah you never know uh, yeah 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 she is that's why it's a good <laughs> uh so one thing i want to ask you guys is obviously season one we all filmed not i don't think you guys knew like kind of the plans i had for the format and everything i kind of just told you that we we're going to come on and and film like a fun challenge show with one another you know and then the, the show ended up being more, you know, a casual reality competition show. And then season two, I think things were upped even further. It definitely made it way more dramatic. Solo Mission played, you know, the, the villain role in a sense. And I definitely played it up in the editing, making everything seem way more dramatic <laughs> and all that stuff. So I guess for season three, right, um, how, how do you think that'll play out? Do you think now that people have seen what Solo Mission did, do you think that's, like, going to completely change the, the dynamic of the game again? Because I, I, I personally feel like people are going to see what he did and now nobody's going to trust nobody 
everybody's going to be on their own in a sense, or there are alliances. I don't know. What do you think will happen next I time? think there will be a few mini missions out there. Mm. A few people trying to, to imitate. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, I, think so too. I think there's, I think there's room for another type of villain though. Okay. Uh, you know, I think, I think there's somebody that can, uh, kind of make to like make other teams go against each other, not necessarily make everybody trust them, mm. but make other teams sort of kind of have a reason to go against each other. Be like, wow, did you see like how he just completely disrespected you in that challenge? And then like that whole time, you're just trying to basically make other people vote for each other. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What do you think, Solo? What do you think would change for you next season? Uh, I think I'm getting voted off first week, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I don't know. We'll see. Obviously, everyone's going to be a lot more suspicious and things. But of course. to be honest, like I, people watching it, because I've read some of the comments, they're like, oh, how would the solo mission just walk over everybody? And we mm. were talking a little bit before we came in the call. Like, even in the second week, the vote was incredibly split. I didn't have control over everyone at that point. Like, and that banning between Tanzu and Vitoso versus Flutton and Nine Rain, that was so huge because if Tanzu and Vitoso went out, there would have been a massive alliance of Flutton and Nine Rain, Settled and Jimmy, C Engineer and Frame, like all those like NA sort of gang. Yeah, yeah. And, like we wouldn't have had the numbers to compete with that. So it really nearly went another route. Mm -hmm. like, I know I know Framed and um, C Engineer thought that we were like pretty good buddies with them. But yeah. even in that challenge, they, vo they voted differently to us, which is why they had ultimately had to go. Because yeah, mm -hmm. they didn't um didn't follow the orders. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I just think I just think like I said, the storyline just played itself out, but there's so many times in the season where things could have changed insanely. AK, any time, Didier and Torvesta went, were in four bannings. Like, and they could have yeah, been knocked exa out. Exactly. Like, like, they were our one of our strongest allies. And, like, yeah. they got through by the skin of their teeth so many times. Yeah. Like, imagine if Bodine Skill Specs had won the Cook's Assistant banning. You know, like, that would have been completely yeah. different. Um, if they had, Jimmy and Settled probably should have won the spawn camping one um unfortunately yeah you know settled went to the the you know the, the wrong shield um which is unfortunate yeah. but someone asked um someone asked how uh did we think we would go as far as we did honestly with uh no. like the for the first banning like when we were against the engineer and uh framed we thought it was like basically over we're like okay yeah. we're gonna try our best here uh let's hope we can do okay it's free to play so it's not as intense as like you know hybriding um we thought we were gone that on that challenge like yeah, like honestly, I re like I was really afraid to go out on in the first week. I, I mentioned that to Soup multiple times too. Oh yeah, you messaged me. I remember you're like, oh man, I'm so glad we didn't go out first. <laughs> that was like that was the message you sent me. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jen, um, what did you think about the audience response to to you and Dave being the you know the lovable idiots in a sense? No offense by by saying that, by the way. You know, <laughs> you know I love you. Um, oh. No, no, but, I get it. I get it. Yeah. You, you guys, uh, you guys by far have the most votes in the in the postseason survey for funniest people. So, uh, people oh, definitely people definitely enjoyed you, and um, yeah, yeah. I guess just uh, yeah, give, give me some on that. I feel like I feel like I'm doing confessionals yeah. with you guys right now. By the way, that's yeah, what I, 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 like. I was thinking. Yeah, this is yeah. getting deep. Uh, yeah, I, I don't really know what to say. To be honest with you, I'm a bit uh, I'm blushing a little bit here. Yeah, over here. of course. Um, yeah, to, to be honest. It was one of me and Dave. No, we're not the strongest competitors in all seriousness. Like anything PvP related, we're awful. I think Dave is definitely underrated. Tanzu, uh, Dave is a lot better at me uh, at the game. Sorry, than me. So I don't think people actually realize how good he is, and he does definitely carry me through in a lot of the challenges. I've got to say it, and I've got to give him some love. But I feel like. We we have the little chemistry there, and Dave knows my strengths. I know I know his strengths. I know his weaknesses. He knows my weaknesses, and we just can can play off that a little bit, and it, it worked it worked out well. It worked out well. I think he was proud of me as well. I think I did him proud. Yeah, and like I said, it's yeah, not you like you guys. Really um, it's not like you guys flew under the radar. I mean, you guys were focal points a lot of a lot of the times in the season. So, I uh, I think that was yeah. Really I think good. I think most people's plan was to try and like fly under the radar, and it was there was too many people, and yeah, because it was the one solo mission snake he was basically the only one that had the intuition and creativity to go right everyone else wants to fly under the radar i'm going to be like the puppet master and he worked it beautifully so we all kind of played into that a little bit which and i think i don't think people realize like how 
much it flew under the radar. Obviously, because the way you edited the video with, with the production, you could tell early on what Solo was doing, and that was the whole narrative. But yeah, yeah. a lot of people didn't actually realize what was going on. I didn't actually realize he was snaky until that Verve Zulu <laughs> uh, yep. frame C engineer situation afterwards, where uh, I think Kevin said, Oh, uh, watch out for Solo Mission, he's a snake. And then, oh, that's when we're all a bit like, Getting, yeah, a bit wary, getting a bit wary, getting a bit wary. Yeah, but it, it was funny because obviously we had this like little Discord and it was me, Tanzu, Solar Missions, Guns Chili, Dare, and Torvester. But then we ended up making a smaller group without Solar Mission and Guns Chili I because did. we didn't actually, <laughs> because we didn't trust him. So then we were all kind of, he was like saying, oh, vote this way, vote this way. And then we go into the separate group with Torvester and be like, oh, let's vote this way. So it was, honestly, it was crazy. Like the the, the behind the scenes was like crazy like yeah. chaotic yeah there was a great moment where me and tom won uh the fire cave one and neither of us neither of us were speaking in that six-man chat with like uh ditter and <laughs> jen and dave and, that. <laughs> and they were like starting to panic they were like so so <laughs> and then i said i said something like everyone be calm stop speaking or something yeah 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 and then yeah. i just get like a load of gifts back like i am the captain now <laughs> <laughs> like, and, I, then, I, and then when, when i announced the plan that we were gonna snake the engineer and the uh, birth and zulu then that was like you're like everyone's getting fucking hype about that yep yep <laughs> yeah it was so good dude i remember one week we me and zulu like because we were talking every week like with the the banning and voting and one week you were just not replying and i was like Something is going on over here. Like you were yeah, like talking to everyone too. else, and I believe that easy. week, that week we were also voted in. I believe so. <laughs> yeah. Gonna so leave some people on red, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah it, for you guys who are asking in the chat, the so confessionals are pretty much what. After every single week, I would hop into a call with these guys, and I'd ask them like ten to fifteen questions about that day's banning and that day's challenges and stuff. Um, and then th those are the little. The audio that we get from that are those little snippets you see during the episodes where it you know, shows their character looking at the camera talking. Um, we film a bunch of those. Like we film, I would say probably seventy percent of the, the responses you guys give me just don't even make it in, just because we we have so many. Um, but it's just a case of everybody gets asked kind of the same questions, and whoever has the answer that kind of fits the the storyline the best is the one that ends up getting used. But it's funny because to your point about that, for that episode. Uh, where you finally win the apron solo. I remember in Ditter and Torvesta's confessional, they were like, Soul Mission is not responding to our DMs and we are starting to panic. <laughs> and and they're, they're all freaking out. And it was just so funny. I can only imagine what it, what it would have looked like. And then I think I also remember them saying that immediately, like during the middle of the fight, when you guys started attacking them they like kicked you from, from the discord dm chat or whatever like it was it was almost instant oh, the that fight they, caves yeah one, the fight yeah. caves one that they almost <laughs> immediately kicked you guys out so yeah really well really that's funny. the thing like we only look like snakes on the second instance because we won like everyone else would have just voted us in anyway yeah. despite being friends of us and the, when it get, when it comes down to four people you don't have to care about who you're voting in because next week alliances don't matter when there's three people left so yeah. those people are like oh i bet you regretted snaking people it's like well, not really, because we always would have been voted into the bottom mm -hmm. um, of a four-man group. Well, not always, it's very arrogant, but yeah. it was pretty likely. Yeah, I mean, the um, like I said, a lot of people, I don't know how much I showed this, but without a doubt, it could have easily just been the case of Torvesta and Ditter were the ones who decided to do the backstabbing, right? Like, for you, you yeah, did it, exactly. you did it like... at, at the, per <laughs> like, they would have done what you did to them, 100%. Like, maybe not that episode, but... At least yeah, guaranteed in the next one. Yeah. yeah. You you did it. You I think you played it pretty flawlessly. I think people can agree on that. It's just incredibly unfortunate, I guess, from your end, that the redemption the redemption challenges happened, you know? Uh, I, I think that that, oh, yeah. that 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 was the biggest reason oh, yeah. why things that was that was so perfect by the way like I that was so used, unexpected you, yeah you used yeah, b-roll yeah. use as well didn't you for yeah. when you brought um settled and jimmy out but yeah. even though you use b-roll the actual thing they worked out they walked out in perfect at the exact same time yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. none of us had any clue whatsoever yeah. and i was just like actually genuinely until shocked. they walked like, out from under fuck? soup nobody knew that there was even a redemption thing going on in the background yeah yeah, yep. that was so crazy. Like, that was probably one of my favorite moments from the whole season. Just mm. like that, like, what the fuck's going on? Because then, because then, obviously, we'd like shown our hand to everyone. Yeah. By then. So that that and like... that was like, 
Yeah, it's another moment where it's like, is this scripted? But like, it's just, yeah, mental. It's genuinely what happened. I was praying that they weren't leaking to you guys who are still in, that those were going on. Um, so uh, I, I think it was, it was probably cool for you guys to watch that Redemption Challenge episode back because you, know, you got to see more of the people who are all, already eliminated and you got to see a bunch of bannings that you never knew were even happening, you know? So it was... Uh, it yeah, was, Skitler and Eevee, really cool. man, they made it so far on that. Yeah, they they could have easily won that entire thing. Their storyline of almost making it back would have been insane. So it's, uh, yeah, like I said, I mean, Solo said it already, and I think you guys have said it, just like the stuff that happened this season just like played out so perfectly. It's hard to believe how well it all played out. Um, so it's going to be tough to top it next time. But I, I think I, go ahead. The, um, the challenge that the banning versus uh, us and settled with the the total xp thing i think that was perfect like our teams having that challenge i think that was really cool mm -hmm. yeah that i think any other teams challenge. any other teams it would have been either like it would have been us winning or settled and jimmy winning like i think we were probably two of the better teams for that specific challenge yeah yeah agreed we were talking about it like if uh if c engineer and framed had won that f like free to play pvp fight and then Settled and Jimmy had won the redemption. Settled and Jimmy would have probably been where we were. And so it could have been that played out entirely differently. Like they could have potentially won the whole thing. Yeah. I honestly think that they were one of the favorites, I thought. That's why we voted for them in in the uh, into the banning. Yeah. I honestly thought they were like the favorites, to be honest, one of them. Yeah. I can't find it's so hard though, there, because yeah. so many different teams won the challenges. That was like week six or seven or something. And there was different aprons every single week. So it was really well balanced. Like with all the challenges and all that, mm -hmm. which made think, it yeah, way like more everyone interesting. Won, everyone won one at, at the end, I think. Like all the teams that were in, like won an apron at some point. Yeah, I yeah, mean, I think there was like seven different winners or something crazy. The wild thing is, is that yeah, literally there there was not a single double gold and apron winner until like the seventh episode, you know. So it was uh, it was actually insane. Um, like I said, how the storylines played out. Speaking of storylines. Ditter Bitter has joined the ch has joined the uh, the, the people's channel. champion. Okay, uh, the, uh, I may have slept in a little bit late. I have my alarm set for ten and not nine a.m. I do apologize. You so are, do not worry. Bro. Hello, hello. Do not worry. How's everyone doing? Uh, GF, your mic's a bit quiet for me. I don't know if that's just me, by the way. I, I, is, is is his fine for me? Yeah, a little bit. I may or may not oh, have had my go. mic at one. Okay. Yeah. Welcome my back. bad. <laughs> how dude, you guys doing doing fantastic man doing a bit of a youtube live stream just talking to everybody about the season bit of a reunion live stream um yeah i've got the chat up i can see it sweet yeah doing. so obviously ditter you uh you had a crazy season i think you were by far one of the big focal points of the season um something <laughs> something maybe something people didn't expect you know um getting into it but the the storyline with you and torvesta throughout the season was was pretty insane um and yeah so i guess just talk about how you how you think the season went from your end you know just give the people uh your thoughts about how it went there was no shot in hell i expected to make it to the final especially like first of all for the first batting i thought soul vision was on my side like i was talking to him i was like yo we're gonna we're gonna get kemp q and pp into this batting yeah it's like yeah bro we got this we get into the batting we've got 14 votes i'm like oh bro we're fucked we are fucked and that keeps happening like every week throughout the like throughout the games and i could just not focus until we were put in a banning position so honestly it was great because when we we're in the banning position we always clutched it up and we always won apart from the end but you know hey <laughs> we made it we made it to the end so that was a win in itself yeah i mean i think you already kind of answered this but after you know going into the first banning of the season you you probably had no idea that you'd not only would you be would you make the final, but you'd be in like three more bannings and you'd win all of them, you know? Which I was... actually thought I was gonna sneak past like no problem when I got to the first episode. I was like, bro, there's a bunch of elite <laughs> gamers here. Yeah. And I've got solo mission on my side, so no way they're gonna they're gonna go for me. Little did I know he wasn't on my side and they were gonna go for me. So yeah. <laughs> I think we had you on our on our sites like pretty early on because you guys are both like two PvPers and we know that like yeah. any PvP challenge, you're a threat. Yeah. I guess that makes that's sense. A, that's yeah. the thing, yeah. Any PvP, you're just an auto win for you guys. So it's yeah. like people want you gone. Yeah, that's that's actually another thing I wanted to ask. First of all, I'll ask this question really quick. This guy says, Solo Mission, did you have any regrets throughout the season? Is there anything you regret? Uh, no, I actually don't. 
Well, like, I'm happy with everything. <laughs> yeah, I guess, do you guys have any, anybody else have regrets from the season? I mean, obviously, it, it, it's easy to look back at the episodes and think, like, damn, I wish I would have done that differently, you know? But yeah. it, it's just the case I'd say, of... I'd say, I'd say maybe we got cl- really close to winning some challenges. Like, if I didn't die to the Lost Giant, we would have won that week. Hmm. Um, if Framed and Sergio didn't spoon a K-top, we would have won the first week. Yeah. Like, if you, <laughs> sco- if you, if you scored the hide-and-seek differently, we, we would have won that as well. I know you yeah. said that to me. So, so like think... we got we, we were getting so close to winning and like so that's when we finally won one i decided to give mental because yeah. fuck it <laughs> yeah yeah i mean the 5k is I... almost close too yeah it was there like was just... if we played that a little different we could have also won that but it's just like i yeah, think the margins of all it... of them were so fun it's all hindsight yeah, yeah it, it genuinely yeah, like exactly. well i i well i did edit some of the up the bannings and challenges still closer than they were a lot of them genuinely just were that close like it was just like i said crazy how it worked out um ditter this guy said how is your and torvesta's relationship at the moment outside of gg <laughs> all i know is if i had saw that final episode before i decided to split the money with him maybe i would have kept the money you know what i'm saying like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> maybe i would have kept the money now nah, we're all good we're all good uh yeah. I'll be uh, I'll be visiting him in the wilderness very shortly, so I'll be getting back at him. I respect that. I'm yeah, sure. I mean, obviously, your, your relationship during GG w- was chaotic, but to be honest, guy, I, I'm pretty sure everybody outside of of the Gilnor Games episodes is friends. Like we're we're all we're all cool with one another. There's I don't think there's any like truly real drama. There probably was some some yeah. heat during the season. We're all friends, aren't we, guys? Yeah, we're, we're all friends. All friends. <laughs> <laughs> God, I, I hate that snake guy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're, we're all chilling <laughs> it's gonna make for a great season three what can i say um yeah absolutely um i guess anybody else uh, you know jen burp zulu did or do you guys have any um, um, regrets from the season or it's hard to say there's regrets like for i think me and verf just because like obviously we, we won the whole thing but there is little things we would have definitely changed in certain challenges yeah. i think so it's too. like it's that hard I... to i think i i uh i regret not not being more of a uh a villain or more of like a yeah, uh like a, a character i guess mm-hmm. yeah yeah so yeah that's actually a good topic like when i like i was really like nervous at the start like the first few episodes and just everything like going on like now that i've seen it all it's like i feel like different i guess mm-hmm. so but, like more used to like the interviews and all that type of stuff yeah like, i wasn't really more drama yeah yeah i definitely sure. edited it to make it more like a reality show this time like the first season is more just like like i said more of like a friendly type deal and some intense yeah, moments was but it nice. wasn't as crazy everybody was very nice and then the second season some people played it up a bit um well actually quite a few people played it up a bit um so i'm just very curious because i feel like next time it's just going to be everybody's going to play it up which is going to be very interesting so well everyone's uh, just gonna be toxic yeah, <laughs> yeah like it's gonna be mental everyone will be trying go. to do the control Let's c go. control v solo it, mission so it's going to be absolutely wild I, I just I'm so curious what's gonna happen. I, I definitely think that there's gonna be people who maybe don't necessarily love that everything's gonna be dramatic, but I, I think that is gonna be what most people prefer, honestly. So so we'll see. Um Yeah, if you guys by the way have any questions in the chat for any of the people, just um just feel free to ask them. They'll answer them. I'll I'll, I'll ask them in, in the Discord or they'll answer in, in the chat. Someone said we had good protagonist energy. I feel that. You good want like the, uh, energy. There you the go. good yeah. guys who don't who don't involve themselves in the drama to yeah. like to keep going. Like honestly, we were so focused on the challenges. Like at the start, especially, we we had no business with that like alliance stuff. Like later on, uh, that became a more of a thing, I guess. Yeah, we were like we were like, oh, solo mission that, message right? us. Okay, we'll we'll just vote for whoever solo and messages us. Yeah. Everyone's like, oh, these humble content creators. But you gotta remember, like, for me to form an alliance, someone's gonna be willing to willing participant on the other side. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, you know what I mean. <laughs> So yeah, we, like, we were uh, we were uh, we were just like okay, solos message us. We'll just vote for this person up until that fight cave <laughs> challenge. And then we were like, okay, I see maybe how we it have is. to do it a bit different. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to convince like Tanzu and Vertoso and who who else were we allied with? Uh, oh, we were allied with Solo. We I was trying to convince Tanzu and Vertoso to BS like solo mission like so no, many weeks the, ago. The, yeah, the regret we yeah it was probably not instead of putting Cell and Jimmy in the band and putting Solo mission. And guns chilean but even at that time like we knew they were like snakes but it was there was still like a heavy na versus like eu kind of like balance throughout the whole thing and then it was like if if we hadn't put jimmy and settled in most likely and if they didn't go out the the shift would have would have moved where 
um, Guns Chili, and then so the mission would go out, and then all of a sudden it's like me and Torvester and Dare versus Verf and Settled and Jimmy. So that's the reason why we had to go that way with the banning. Yeah. But I do kind of wish I grew a pair just for the yeah. just for the sake of the content. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I was like, we were just we were just meant to be using Solo as a means to an end, but we let him get to the end. But you know, once 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 his true colors came out, yeah. like I was like, I wanted him in that banning, bro. I knew I was gonna take him out. You know yeah. what I mean? The Rogue Stand banning was so good. I saw yeah, someone say, high. "Do I do I like have any feelings towards Good Chili for losing it?" But genuinely, no. Like I I actually thought we were gonna lose that because we we really struggled with the Rogue Stand during the mm -hmm. challenge on that one. Like. I don't think I'd done it since like 2019 or something. And I know Tom was like, he wasn't exactly doing great either. But I think yeah. everyone that week struggled so badly with it. So it's just anyone's game. Yeah, that, I was uh, really was shocked. Uh, Ditter, like, I think if we look back at it, your team and our team, if we include the final challenge, had eight total bannings out of like the 11 episodes. That's Jesus actually Christ. so nuts, man. They were gunning for us like crazy. And we still yeah. ended up at the at the very end there. Yeah. So I think when it comes to like the banning challenges, we did our we did a good job in those, like both your team and our team. Yeah. yeah. We were always trying to get Verf and Zulu in the banning because I think I saw them as the biggest threat because like, I'd say we our waiting. team was like our team was like more PVM focused, but I I say like their team's probably better at PVM overall than we were. So like, like, you want to we try waiting. and be the best in class. <laughs> yeah. Like after I'm the, still glad after we didn't like get the, the nightmare one, dude. Yeah. Like Nightmare one was the, so scary. At some point, I was, we were really like waiting. Like, is he gonna vote us in? Like, I don't know. It, like, it went all like directions. <laughs> mm. Um, I think yeah. Go back to the rogues. The one I think the rogues. Then one was just crazy. The the way it played out. Um, I think that's just like a, I just like that content where like it's a, kind of like a race in a sense, but you're all in the same area. Um, and there's chances to sabotage, but it's also just very precise clicks. I think it's like a perfect. Uh, banning for for something like yeah. villain our games. Oh, so. the tile, dude. The yeah, tile like, for the, the it's door. interesting. Like, imagine Solo had pit on that tile. It could just infinitely pick up the tiles. You know, like that could have changed everything. Oh, that would have been like crazy. I didn't even you know? think about that. Yeah, there, there's uh, that that could have changed things. Like, imagine imagine Chili catches up, right? And then it's a race between two other people to get that final tile. Like, it generally could have been crazy. Uh, this guy Flameboy says we love Vertoso, Jen. So you have a fan oh, stop guy. it, yeah. stop we it. all do. <laughs> Just join man, the crew, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Join the <laughs> jo join the join the crew. Join the crew. Um, I guess one thing I'll ask uh, you guys is: do you guys have a, a favorite challenge from that you did slash banning from the season? A anything you guys? I think everyone's gonna say the same thing. I'm guessing that the Gila guess uh -oh. award. No. The Gila guess award. Really? No, I, 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 I love that one. <laughs> I liked I liked LMS, bro. I liked LMS. <laughs> the, uh, the diary, the diary, and the XP and every skill banning. Yeah, that was like, yeah, yeah. Those really fun ones. Wait, they were like, so, so, like oh, you guys. Stuff. Everyone just named the one they won. <laughs> yeah, well, well, the one where we got the X, like the XP. Honestly, me and Torvesta wrote like a really good plan out for that one, like the total level one. But we both died like twice within twenty minutes. So he's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna go watch the football." I think well, because we won those, but Verf and I also had a really good strategy. Like we we took time to plan that one out, and I think we did like we our teamwork was really good on both of those challenges. The banning where we had to get an XP in every skill, and then that the soup so diary. Fun. We worked yeah. we worked like really well on that. Mm -hmm. Our plan was just like. Pretty much flawless. Yeah. I saw someone ask a question how we planned that challenge, by the way. And I think we, I, I think we kind of did the same about that settled it. Just write down like a plan and look for XP drops that are close to each other and then just hope for the best, really. Mm. Yeah, like, I, had too much time. Task. I had a Slayer task where I did, I did a blowpipe hit and then like a whip hit. And then I used mage like teleport. And so I got like eight skills in like two seconds. Oh, I had a bone crusher too. So the bones buried. Like I had, I had. All the stuff you would need to get like eight or nine skills in one like one second. Yeah. yeah I, I thought the GA guess one was the best one, hundred yeah. percent. And that moment yeah. where I, I, Witchhaven Doc made Witchhaven, bro. That was so <laughs> Tell fun, me about dude. Witchhaven. That was so hype as well because Yo go go ahead. Oh sorry, I was just gonna say, like obviously it's not mentioned in the actual episode, but that was the only one where the participants, we were all like, Soup, make more challenges, make more challenges. And you actually made more challenges on the spot because mm. we didn't want it to end. Yeah. And we, I am pretty sure we would have won that challenge if you didn't make more <laughs> Oh, uh, right. Was that, the one where, was that the one where, like, uh, Frame's power went out? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. engineer was like, yeah. I'll just do it on two accounts or something like that, right? I'll just do it on two accounts, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Soup, yeah. I, um, 
did you do that challenge because I recommended that? If I remember correctly, that challenge but, was recommended by so many people. Like a RuneScape yeah, INC yeah. challenge. Like I, I got so many suggestions for it. I see. I was just curious how I would do it with like whether I should do it where it's the first person to trade me gets like more points or whether it's like a time bracket type deal. Ended up doing the time right. bracket. But I think that type of challenge is, is cool because we can do some variation for it because I'm, I'm probably going to do it again. It was really fun to that's do. A, that's a regret I have. The very first one was the Polar <laughs> Kevin area. Yeah. I didn't run no, north the second enough. one. That was the second one. I didn't one. run. Oh, second one. Yeah. I didn't run north enough. And I, I you were there. I was the first one there. Nobody else was there yet. And I just didn't keep running north. Yeah. I mean, we were giving you so much shit, Zulu, as well, throughout the whole of it. It was so funny. <laughs> yeah, I remember. It was so funny. You guys did. You guys it's like, oh, Zulu's so finally here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was good. Yeah, that one, um, RuneScape Hide and Seek was really good. Um, yeah. I, I really am praying that Jagex can hook us up with, like, a private world for the next one. That way we can never have to worry about... I know about why. How you what? Like, like quest locations that'll be disgusting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It'd You're be like, cool if they could build some Jay. sort of... Uh, some sort of like thing that like specifically for a challenge that you want like if you have any ideas in mind yeah exactly that and just like so we don't have to worry about things like you know level discrepancies and stuff like i think skill specs keeps joining and then leaves again so yeah. <laughs> I, swear, I think he shot i love the pussy he might have done that. did he actually i, I didn't even hear him <laughs> i'm a, i'm curious soup i i think everybody's thinking it obviously squid games is a huge topic are you gonna have like 50 creators on and just get rid of like 60 percent of them in one episode or something oh man a runescape squid game would be so cool like i was thinking about how we, could, how we could do something like that like I don't know. Imagine we we did an underground pass thing where it's the same oh it's the same relay race, but it only like the first like twenty people who make it to the dwarf camp win, you know. And and this time there's only entangles and stuff like that. Like I think it'd just be insane. That being said, editing nightmare, bro. Like there's no way I want to yeah. no way I want to edit fifty different 50 perspectives. Yeah. Right? yeah, no yeah. way. I don't know how how Hanani is doing that with her uh, Squid Games version, but. Um, I think that'd be. I think a Squid Game RuneScape could could be really cool. Uh, but like I said, it just perspectives editing wise, it might be just way too big of a thing. Could be a yeah. cool live stream. I'm actually, event, I'm, actually I'm actually playing in one right now. Um, you know Hanani, she's hosting one. But it's like it's like fun jokes challenges. Like make a fucking ACB noise with your mouth and all this random shit. Yeah, <laughs> but she's done a few. Oh she has done a, she's done a few. She's done a few episodes of that. So that's ongoing right now. Yeah, a red light, green light would be interesting. There's just like so many cool challenges that I would I would love to do. Jay, my brother, are you there, my friend? Soup, soup. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, my man. Yeah, Let's man. Go. Good. I just I just wanted to to get your thoughts on the season really quick. How you think it went from your end? Obviously, you had an unfortunate, you know, banning um, situation against the Nesty. But did, up until your elimination, how did you think it went? Man, I enjoyed every minute of it. Honestly, I don't know. I uh, I I did I did better than I thought, mm -hmm. but then, but then man, I can't I can't even kill Jads, bro. Come on, dude. I just I, I feel bad for Adam, man. That's legit the only thing I took away from the episode. Dude, you were so sad. Like, I let him down, mate. I legit let him down, bro. That's the only thing I had to take away from it. Damn. How fun it, it was, like you were and how much I let him down. Yeah, I almost was, bro. Well, at the end of the day, sad. At the end of the day, he never felt let down in any of his confessionals. I think he's probably told you that too. And you had a hell of hell. I just said hell. A lot of people who uh, who who found you absolutely hilarious throughout the season. So I think you were were fantastic, my friend. Uh, so thank you again for coming on. I oh, appreciate you, man. Well, appreciate uh, you too. Thank, and hey, you thank walked you, away man. with a hundred mil from the season, man. Not too hey, bad. Hey, dude, you know? no complaints. Yeah, Still got it, bro. Still yeah, got it. Good. Dulerin is gone, so I'm assuming that's going <laughs> to yeah, stay in I, there. So. <laughs> I was watching the bloopers today, bro, and I, I, I saw someone. Someone did fucking snake skins pointing to solo mission. Oh, I legit dude. lost my shit, dude. dude. That was amazing, bro. Who did that? Yeah, I think that was it was good. Ditter. I think Ditter did it actually. Ditter, bro. Mm. I can't. It must be one of them. The, the bloopers are so funny there's we probably could make a whole other episode with the bloopers there's just like so much footage that i probably missed that we could make a part two but i mean it, it's genuinely just a hilarious time when we're all together to be honest like between hey, between filming it's i such agree a good to time. that yeah such a good time but i have a question for you soup mate yeah, how are your thoughts now that it's all done and wrapped up bro what are your what are your takeaways from this man are you happy with how it went Dude, I, I don't think it could have gone better. Like, I just think, like I said, these storylines that happened this season were insane. You know, like, just the, uh you know, the, the roles that people played and the challenges we did and the bannings we did. I think it was uh, just a phenomenal season. I'm very thankful to all of you for, for coming on and, and making it entertaining, you know. So, it's... uh. It, it got it went way better than i thought it would uh, i think the reception good the reception was uh, was really good so yeah um 
Ah, and yeah, and uh, this this plate's going well, dude. They're everyone buying those, man. Of course. Yep. Reminder, boys. Of course. Get your and the blanket. And yeah. the shirts. Merch, blanket, disc plates. You know, we're selling out as hard as we can before I milk this thing dry. So we'll. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll. Uh, <laughs> Well, before season three starts happening, so yeah. Jay, thank you, my friend. Uh, head to bed, brother. Get yourself some sleep. Yeah. Thanks, sir. Thanks, for, thanks for coming on. Super Jay, why is that when I joined the stream a minute ago? Bro? It did. It didn't go through, but I, I think I, I think I knew what you were gonna say, right? The. Uh... Okay, buddy. Love... Hey, but I had... <laughs> go, go, go for it, soup. <laughs> Do you want to finish? I love the the pussy. <laughs> good night, my buddy. Good night, brother. Good night. Good night. Good night. Legend. Peace Legend. out, boys. Perfect. Yeah, dude, Jay, so hilarious. I wish I wish he would have been on longer in the season, but hey, that's always the tough thing with um, yeah, with with these shows is the eliminations. You know, people leave that you don't necessarily want to see leave, but uh, hey, it is what it is. I'm that's the, just the way the crumble cookies. You know what I mean? The way the crumble cookies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there were so many comments about that. It was half the comments on the final episode. Yeah, yeah. It's so funny. Come on, son. I don't have had some comments, bro. That's what I'm good yeah. at. Yeah um questions any questions in the chat with who would you like the most with who would you like the most to team up with in gg2 um not sure what i mean what you mean by that but all i'm going to tell you that is and i think these guys know too it's going to be a different format next season it's not necessarily going to be a duo season um makes the most sense to do a different format different bannings different voting system different you know everything so makes it the most exciting so you can expect uh, more twists and and crazy stuff happening next time so yeah, it's gonna be very good. Um, I guess one thing I'll, I'll ask you guys: Is there anything else from the season that you, that you found funny that wasn't shown, or or anything else funny you can uh, remember? On the fight pits, too, like uh, the fight pits one, where it was me, Torvesta, Zulu, Verve, Soul Mission, and Tanzu and Vertoso. We were still all in that alliance at the point, but I knew I I was ninety nine percent sure that Soul Mission was gonna BS me that day. Mm -hmm. I, I remember typing to you, like I had messages. I was like. 99% sure Soul Mission is going to BS me. And I messaged Tadzi Vertosa. I was like, yo, we're probably going to get BS'd. If I had, if I'd taken a little bit more initiative, maybe I could have messaged like Zulu and Verf and try to get them on our yeah, team for sure. instead. But I kind of just sat there accepting yeah, yeah, yeah. that we're about to go in and we're going to get BS'd. <laughs> and then we got in, we got BS'd. I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> Tadzi really Vertosa, to help us. us out. Yeah, Tadzi Vertosa, help us out. But they had like maple short bows, so like there was no way we were winning. Hey, I didn't know what day it was, so I was all over the gas. I didn't know what was going on. It was so funny afterwards, though, the call afterwards when everyone everyone came out and then everyone went into like the, the same call together and there was just like an eerie little silence and then no one wanted to say anything. And then there comes in, Sorrow Mission, you fucking rad. And then it all just, went, and then it all just exploded. Yeah. Yeah. It went I'm crazy. I'm not afraid to save my peace, bro. One. I'm not afraid to save my peace. <laughs> I think oh, for my dude. confessional, I did it like the day after, so I'd like calm down. But yeah. if I had done it like straight away after that, it would have been it, too much. You probably wouldn't have been able to like put any of it out anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. That, oh, that was the one where Jimmy had settled. Came exactly. Back, so that, then they yeah. came and everything like changed power. and stuff, and just like yeah, that was. Oh a yeah, day. your plan kind of got ruined because you BS'd us, but they came back for the yeah. party. Yeah, yeah, it would have been interesting to see what happened. Um, if that if that hadn't have happened but hey that, that's just how the game played out uh the i saw a question i forgot i was gonna ask um oh yeah that day the the clue scroll the clue scroll challenge like i just remember all of us being shocked at how bad the loot was that we oh all my got. god oh my that god, was god, crazy yeah. like, there wasn't a single good loot that people <laughs> got and i felt so bad for dave and jen tanzu vertoso because you guys got like 60k combined between the both of you that you needed and, and i'm gonna be honest Sue. we could have pulled ranger boots from the mediums we still wouldn't have won in the fight pits doesn't change that's anything fair. yeah i'm curious if like let's say let's say ditter and torvesta or yeah let's say like tanzu and vertoso had of pulled something like ranger boots or like a two mil plus item and they had the best gear would you have changed the strategy of instantly going on ditter and torv and then uh, they, they would have got re-rolled though because you know you had that re-roll thing yeah oh, true yeah that's right yeah that's right, yeah. Oh, that's right. i forgot yeah, we, we, would have, we would have definitely re-rolled that you would have re them. yeah that, i completely forgot I, I even added that yeah wow yeah i guess things maybe wouldn't have changed but with with jen's luck he would have re-rolled and it would have been ranger boots again you know so <laughs> you would have just maybe uh, yeah you never know um cool yeah i'm looking through the chat any other questions uh yeah people have been asking if, if you guys knew who you were going into the season with but i don't think i told any of you guys no, no it, was day, it was day one no. i, I yeah. had an idea like i thought there was probably like three people you can put me with oh yeah who did you like, think it might be i thought it would be me and framed for, for i thought i thought you might put me with, i thought you might put me with verf 
Same, or same. Guns Chili, or I think there was maybe one other person. But yeah, I was just thinking like EU sort of people. He's like, yeah. I know. I think you did really well with the teams. Like, that was mm-hmm. just a nice mix. I agree. I would have felt sorry for the poor bastard that had to go in me if it wasn't for Dave. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I think we all saw that one. I remember on day one, I was like. I was like, Tanzu, I'm going to pair you with somebody you might not know. Like, yeah, I, I'm excited to see how you do. And I, and Dave, I remember Dave Sounds being like, yeah. and Dave's like, no, no, no. And I said, Jen, and he's like, oh, okay, well, we're chilling. Uh, uh-huh. it, it would have been silly to, to keep you guys apart, to be honest. So, you know how it is. I think, um, yeah, what about you, Ditter? Did, did you think I was going to put you with, with, with Torvesta? Or I, I heard I, I heard you thought it was going to be Eevee Scape. Yeah, I thought you might have put me with Eevee Scape because we both like sort of finessed our way in the season with like a tweet a while back. We are like, yeah. soup. On Gillen or Gaze. <laughs> and then he lost on Gillen or Gaze. I was like, maybe that'd beat it. But nah, Tovesta was good. I was I was sort of expecting it anyway because he was like a PKer. And I did expect C Engineer and Frame to be with each other regardless. Yeah. I, I was thinking in a future episode, like a future season or an alternate universe where me and Solo Mission got teamed up and I just turned him into the most like toxic piece of shit ever. But with all the <laughs> skills, with all the skills as well, I think we would have been absolutely like undestructible we would have destroyed the season but i think it might have been a little unfair yeah yeah i agree <laughs> maybe next season <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe next time um yeah i don't I'm trying to see if there's anything else we missed um I, I saw one for me yeah go for it would i have sp- would i have split the money with guns chili if i won and the answer to that is you'll never know <laughs> <laughs> this fucking guy see I, I feel like what solo might do is he might just dm chili and be like hey listen i'm gonna take the money for for drama purposes but i'll split it with you after i get the money so just just, just to see what happens you know but that man people would have lost their shit Dude, everyone in the comments like unsubscribe to solo mission yeah. no way <laughs> people would have lost oh, their shit without a doubt <laughs> jimmy Hello. Jimmy. what's up brother thanks for joining Good morning me. What you Hello. get? I um, I've already asked these guys a bunch of questions, so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get straight into asking you questions if that's okay. I'm gonna me? Yeah, yeah, straight up, Jimmy. Oh, okay. Everybody say hi to Jimmy in the live stream. Um, hi Jimmy. Hi Jimmy. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Oh, the I chat too. Oh, the chat too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys left me hanging. What the fuck? <laughs> that's all you, G. <laughs> yeah, dude, Jim, you had a phenomenal season this season compared to your your first season, obviously. Um. How, how What's do you, that supposed how, to mean? Uh, I think you know what it means, right? I think you know okay, what it means. Whatever, yeah, right. yeah, you know what it means. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, obviously, were, were you happy with, with how you did this season? I mean, you came in swinging with you and settled. You guys won some aprons. You won, won a banning. Um, unfortunate you went out, obviously, but are you happy with how it went? No, we didn't win, so I'm devastated. That's fair. No, I didn't have a good time because we lost, and I don't like losing. That's That's a totally reasonable response. I hate everybody in this call right now. <laughs> Who do you hate? Hey man, the feelings mutual. <laughs> for for, I, drama, for this... drama purposes, who do you hate the most? Uh, I mean, you know who I hate the most. <laughs> we all know who I hate the most. Me, sorry, I, he's I not here. Him. He's Fucking not here. guy frame, dude. Frame. <laughs> oh, don't say his name. Stop. Sorry, I think sorry, he's scared sorry. to join the call right now. I messaged him. I see him he's online. Quivering. You see him online too, but he's afraid to join. Um, so we'll see if he uh if he decides to join later. But, uh, no, yeah. Jimmy has him on ignore. He doesn't see him online. Oh, he might. Yeah, he might actually have him ignore. <laughs> I haven't seen that guy's name in years. I I get the question I get asked the, not the most, but quite often is um, I should have paired you and and framed for the season. <laughs> uh, I think it definitely would have been interesting. I think it would have caused a lot of uh, interesting moments. I personally still think that the pairing of you and settled w- was better for the season anyway. So. Um, oh yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. Kevin loves like, you know, painting me as the the bad guy. Yeah. Uh, who who's the big old anchor, the, the trillion pound anchor, mm-hmm. and uh, that'd be a disaster if me and him were paired up. So yeah, me and settled, we work well together in like all games, not just Runescape. So mm-hmm. that was a power play. That was good for us. I I, I am happy farther. where we. Yeah. yeah, I, I am made it far how far we made it. Yeah, yeah he did way better. So, uh, super, super great. This guy keeps spamming this one question. He says, uh, please ask to all who got banned early, did any of them know they were getting a second chance when you were gathering them? Well, for all the people in this call, I think Jimmy was the only person who was in a redemption challenge. Um, so I guess I'll ask you that, Jimmy. Did you know there was a redemption thing before I even told you that you had a second chance? 
uh me personally yeah because Flutton was doing it down the hallway yeah <laughs> i knew that that was happening already. <laughs> so, you heard doing it. so yeah i knew that that was going down yeah you heard that there was uh, a second chance yeah man this guy's got spies what's going on Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah they were really good spies, as you can tell. They made it really far, got a lot of intel. <laughs> it was great. Yeah, yeah, he had all the, all the all the all the inside information. Yeah, I mean, so for that for that redemption challenge, you had the the alphabet was it alphabet soup, right? The um, you know, you got to kill an NPC and knocks that letter off the alphabet. Uh, that was actually kind of insane because I remember you guys stomping it, doing super well, and then you got, you realized you forget the letter T. Uh, and oh, then you yeah. have this moment of panic where you see Skidler teleport in and you're like, oh my God, this is about to happen again. Uh, what do you remember about, about that? Being scared out of my <laughs> mind that we were going to have the most embarrassing moment of the entire season because we forgot one letter. Mm -hmm. And uh, it would have been bad. We would have been a lot more devastated about this whole uh, Gilinor Games thing if we yeah. didn't remember that letter or check back with every single letter that we did. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, we remembered. We we checked. We <laughs> clutched it. It was Good crazy. Thing you did. Luckily, it worked out, um, especially because I think the week before, you guys had that, like, super unfortunate, you know, banning loss versus Ditter and Torv where our homie settled, went to the wrong shield. Um, but, hey, it is what it is. And, uh, yeah. Um, cool. Well, I think that's all the questions I have for you guys. Uh, once again, Thank you to all of you for being a part of the season. Uh, and thanks for coming in today, answering some questions. You guys have any final words for, for the chat? So, Fuck solo uh, mission. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was waiting there. Um, yeah, I mean, people are still kind of asking you guys questions, so feel free to answer them in the chat. But yeah. I mean, thanks thanks again for just having us like yeah, as part of the uh, of season. It was a lot of fun. I had a blast. I um, I'm pretty strong in my statement of RuneScape having the best content creation scene and having the most charismatic yeah. creators. So for us all to, I mean, I just think it's, I just think it's very fun. You guys can probably back me. I just think it's very fun for us all to meet, meet up in a, in a channel one day and, and talk with one another and, and can, and do these challenges and stuff, especially since the last two years, there's, there's been no RuneFest and stuff, you know, so we, we don't get to see one another. Um, so it's just, nice to hear voices yeah and, and your like, editing style you know, i mean it's literally like watching a reality show like, yeah it's, it's nuts I, I was really happy with how the the episodes how many out, hours so. of editing would you say went into all those episodes like by the end of it you were cranking them out like weeks mom was like, pulling within, in nine to five yeah, yeah like you were, you were doing them within like the six days between episodes <laughs> yeah. towards the end right i'm just like how is this guy getting a full movie Dude, three done days before the final week. was done i messaged him he's like yeah, yeah. i'm almost done editing it <laughs> yeah it's so good dude. i remember so I edit, I pre-edited up until the Rootscape Hide and Seek episode before the season came out. So I was, I had four episodes edited, and I was like, this should be plenty of time for me to, you know, edit between releases and and get these episodes out weekly. And then up until the the Redemption Island episode, the Redemption banning, I was like, shit, like I have caught up to all the episodes I pre-edited. So now I have to do these like within six days because I have to, for the music purposes, I have to have the video uploaded Friday morning for the company to take off the strikes. So like I, it was literally a case of doing it from like you know Saturday to to, to to Thursday night. So like I said, way too much. Uh, uh, I did way too much on myself in terms of like the editing thing. But I wanted to do the epi I want to get the episodes out weekly. Like I think having a, a weekly schedule for the episodes is just way more. Is way better than than having them every two weeks like I, I did in season one. Yeah. So. Do you think you'd get like an editor to help you out in the future? But then it's like it's sort of like you can't really go with your own vision for like sort of everything. I guess you can like check it with them. But yeah, yeah. Some things you just want to create how you like it. I guess. Yeah, I mean, you know how it is when it comes to editing. You have a vision of how you want the the season to or the like the the video to go, right? So if you do, if you have somebody else who you hire to do it, and then they don't do it how you want to do it, it's like, well, shoot. Yeah. Uh, so. I'll, I'll, I, but for the next season, I definitely want to have other people help out. I don't want to do it all again, all by myself. So we'll figure it out. Um, but luckily, like daily I said, episodes next season. Thirty episodes. <laughs> daily episodes. Oh, daily. I say thirty episodes. <laughs> daily episodes. Yeah. I mean, hey, if the YouTube algorithm likes it, maybe I will. You never know. Maybe it's something people want to see. Three sixty-five day challenge. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Why don't we get a mansion in America? <laughs> IRL exactly. Gilinor games. Like, do, a DMS, yeah, do a dead man mansion. 
yeah. Dude, Dead Man Mansion's skill in our games, man. That that would be amazing. It's killing an Airbnb for a month. Yeah, just set up 50 computers in there, invite everybody on. 24-7 live stream going on, too. That would actually be crazy. Uh, but yeah, I mean, like I said, you know how it is when it comes to editing. You just you have a vision for it, and I'm sure there's a, we'll, we'll figure it out for the next season. I'll definitely try to have, have other people on. But uh, yeah, boys, uh, I'm going to hop off. Thank you guys all for, for ch chilling and, and chatting. Um, and uh, well, I guess I'll talk to you again soon about maybe season three. You never know. We'll see. We'll, uh, we'll take it easy again. Ooh. Oh, of course this guy joins. Yeah. All right, see you later. <laughs> oh, here, oh, yeah. oh, okay. Hey, okay. <laughs> here they come. Crazy timing. Uh, so, first, first of all, everyone needs to donate to Soup. $10 each. That's the... Uh, <laughs> buy some merch. Yes. Yeah, buy and, some merch. And second of all, everyone else cheered except us. We didn't. Yeah. Well, now that you guys are here, this is just phenomenal timing that you all joined. Um, <laughs> Why are you leaving? No, I, I was actually <laughs> expecting you to join exactly at this time, so I'd ask a, a few questions to you guys, okay? Oh, are we ending stream? Uh... No, no, stream's not ending. I was just oh, I was God. about to leave this oh, call oh, from, yeah, the, no. from this Ooh. section. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tom, Kevin, quick words about, about the season. and any, any regrets, anything you would have done differently? Any thoughts about your partnership together? What, what were you guys feeling? <laughs> right, chill out, but yeah, one at a time. Wait, one at a time, please. Um, one at a time. One at a time. Um, first of all, I would have chosen a different partner. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. You you just would have chosen a different partner. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> wow. Oh my. Tom, two people donated ten dollars. Bad friends and Dean Nelly because of what you said. Thank you, Tom. Are are, are you looking? Oh. What, what's the worst part about it all, man? What's that, man? Me and Tom hate each other. We despise each other, but we refuse to get any other partner. Hey, you guys are partners for everything, aren't you? The, the thing is, yeah. we we hate each other, but Kevin is the best player in the game of, out of everyone in this group. So, like, what do you what to 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 Excuse be me? able to win? Kevin is the perfect partner, but I do hate him. Say that just yeah. in free to play PKing, buddy. <laughs> oh shit! Didn't you just oh, die shit. on your group Haru for Iron Man? Today? Yeah, my name, oh, my, name my name is now oh, Mike to Monkey. Bro, the drama, monkey. no way. It feels like midway through the season all over again. What's going <laughs> yeah, on? I know. Where's the uh, Infernal Cave off, engineer? Bro, off, we're team, we're team. So, like, who do I vote for, Solo? He has one. <laughs> I got on the two, hardcore? Two, two hardcore Iron Mans. Do you have on your hardcore Iron Man? No, wait, it's dead. Oh. No, it just logged out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what they all say. <laughs> God damn. Dude, things are just stirring up. We're one hour into this session, things are just stirring up, man. Good. Sounds like we have some rivalries already forming for next year, hey, man. This is very, Tom, very good. Stefan, yeah. when? Did, did, oh, no, go ahead, go ahead. Tom, when are you going to be uh, rank one PFP hardcore? I'm waiting. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Here we go. Here we Ooh. go. Aren't you supposed to be locked to one tile? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My hardcore Iron Man. Imagine content creator live Discord chats. I mean, this was just us every time we met up for a challenge. We just all there's a bunch, you know, a bunch of shit talking going on, a bunch of how you doing. Yeah, but, while we uh, waited for Rake C, we were just talking trash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Oh, hello, Kemp, what hello. the fuck is your thumbnail, man? Uh, you know his thumbnail. What's going got, on with that? Did it make you go to a different website other than YouTube? No, Sorry. it did not. It, it is November. You, you, you can find you can find plenty good now. videos on YouTube, my friend. <laughs> no, you don't need to go to another website. Before. Wait, is it a thumbnail? Let me see this. Pull up. Yeah. Guys, we're here oh about game more games. Stop talking. About <laughs> no, this is great. Keep going. Chat's oh. loving it, man. Chat's loving it. <laughs> no, no, no. You put you made the puppy girl a thumbnail. Shut <laughs> up. Okay, I love solo missions videos. I I enjoyed. Your video, Jose. Um, yeah, no, uh, it was with the puppy LP girl, Kiner, man. We're not, we're not, David we're, not, <laughs> we're not going Rusky, away from this. Homina, Homina. Thor P. Just after Dean Nelly. Stream, uh, you guys, uh, bad friends. Time. Thank you for the ten dollars donations. You guys okay. are all so nice. No, but what's I love with you the, all. Like, I'll give you all kisses it? later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's good drama video. happening right now. No, listen. I know it's in the video. Fair enough. If you want to, if you want to put your porn in the video, but why would you put it on the thumbnail? Well, did it not get your attention? Come on. Just say you yeah. rank one in the title know, like everybody else. You have primate. Yeah. You have primate brain, mate. Woof. I know how you think. Ooh. Wow. Wow. I didn't expect right. it. Just, just, this thing just went into chaos. Everything yeah, just erupted. Kemp, are you talking on Bluetooth right now? 
<laughs> yeah, why does he sound like that? What's going on? Uh, let me check my settings. You, you, are you in a bathroom? Here's the thing. You, 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 you never I know. You like... never know what you're gonna get with Kemp that, when he joins a call with you. Is that better, mate? There you go. No. Yeah. Now, now you're on your own. Wait. Mic, one, one, one question. Yeah. Why is Ditter Bitter's name the People's Champion? Because I'm the People's Champion. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, well, that's actually. Uh, is that true, Stefan? I it, checked. Stefan checked with the people, and he actually got back to me and said I'll, I was. I'll ask the yeah. chat. Do you guys think Ditter is the true winner of Yolnar Game Season Two? I mean, <laughs> no, if I knew how to play the right thing against Zami, then I would be sitting here. We with still, Stephen we still would have won in time. We still would have won time. I, I, I'd see, I don't know. Oh, I did, I did the math. I you can't even count the. You can't even count the seven. I, I don't actually like. It's I'm I. Looked at it myself. If, it would have been so close if, if you hadn't have died. I, I don't know what it would have happened. Just say yes. I only say yes. I only say yes, by the if, way. If anyone, it's Torvesta because he carried you through the entire season. Ooh. Yeah, oh, God, God. Engineer, Ooh. you were possibly the most dead weight teammate on the entire games. You were voting for people that Framed, was, Framed wasn't even voted for, bro. You were sabotaging yeah. your own team talking about getting carried. You carried That's your ass true. out of the games halfway in, bro. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Tom, what do you Dude. think about... um? If, uh, Tom, do you have any you regrets, there, Tom? Do you have any regrets yeah, from the me. season, Tom? Any regrets? Yeah. Um, uh, nothing on top of my head. You, you, okay. You, you wouldn't have... don't, you don't regret. Yeah. You... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love that. We don't care if you if you're wearing a heart seat engine here. What's that even mean? I mean, I'm yeah. What? Yo, Yo, it, where's my, me. where's my, uh, where's my, like, uh, like the fucking <laughs> glasses or the, like the lawnmower thing that we're supposed to get Henry. for winning the challenge? Henry, Henry, Henry thank you for the twenty dollars. Thank you, thank you. He's like, oh, the person, the winner of this um, one gets yeah, a wall. Yeah, we, it's, we, we, it's, yeah, yeah. it's coming. We all collectively it, were lied to at the end. It's genuinely coming. These companies did say that they want to sponsor it and send you guys stuff. I just have to send them your info. So. Um, oh, were you actually for real? For real? I was hundred percent for real. Yeah, like like Grip. You didn't even tell us that. Yeah, because I had to yeah. wait until the season was That's over. Now he's making this up on the spot, dude. He's sweating. He's sweating. Oh, it's the company. It's the company's fault. This is this is an Among Us lobby now. Okay, you have to figure out. You have to figure out if I'm lying or not. All right, cool. So here's here's speaking of liars, solo mission. Who is the first person that you thought caught on to you? Genuinely, who's the first person you thought caught on to you? Bro, I knew this guy was snaking me I, from the beginning. I, did, I didn't even realize he caught onto us, like, in the fire cave I've said when he got betrayed. I felt like no one was catching on at any time, to be honest. Damn. The only thing is, you and the engineer voted for someone Raymond, else. thank you so much for the time. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, yeah. thank you, Raymond. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. No, no, on Tanzu and Vitoso. He, he voted for Tanzu and Vitoso on one of the challenges. I think on the uh, second well, one. Uh, oh, not that, so not that episode, but like leading up to it. Yeah. So, that, so, now I was, so then I was like, oh, you guys will vote with um, Jimmy and Settled instead of us. So that's why you got betrayed. Oh, uh, okay. It's hard to be done, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, the, the first episode was so fucking good, the way uh, Stefan <laughs> portrayed it. Like, it, it was all about the drama, and like we literally all had no idea right from the get go that you were gonna do that this season. Yep. So you you played the game, dude. Like you won Survivor, as far as I'm concerned. I agree. I was, I was surprised on Ditter and Torvesta. You, you, I was speaking to Evscape. I think Evscape would have done something similar as well. Like, yeah, he's I don't, been I don't, watching I don't, reality I don't TV. Stuff. It, but <laughs> he got fucking voted out immediately. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, he should have taken that as a compliment, though, man. Yeah, I think a lot of people were surprised that you guys put in Eviescape and Skiddler, but I, I think it showed. Dude, everybody it. thought we were gonna put in Bodhi and fucking skill specs. Like, I'm sorry, man, but one's a washed up hardcore Iron Man and one's a fucking gambling addict. So oh, I, we were we were not gonna put them in, man. <laughs> I was. Yeah, well, didn't, didn't they get? Right. They they what got put the... in because they um both of those teams messaged us. And then they, so they're like a, an alliance already. So I, I think I messaged Tom saying you should put in Evie and Skidler against Ditter and Torvesta because they're all a little gang already. So you can just make yeah, that little gang yeah. weaker from the I, I, I mainly <laughs> listened to whatever whatever Tom said because he was like, they're oh yeah, like, like like first <laughs> like, like first episode he's like yeah like, like we have like a secret alliance with a uh, solo mission and Guns Chili, so we're just gonna vote with them. And I was like, oh cool, like we also have one with like uh, Jimmy and Settled, so. Like I think, like the three uh, groups, like like we'll be able to control a lot of voting power. So whenever um, Tom said we should vote for blank, I just brought it to Jimmy and settled, and I, I think that's collectively how we voted. So 
I respect. Was, Pretty, yeah. One of the earlier weeks, uh, Verf was saying, like, should we vote for uh, Framed and the Engineer? And I chose not to because you and I made it to the finals the previous yeah, season. Yeah, no, I, I wasn't going to vote for you for a while, too. Like, I, I had that in the back of my mind as well. I was like, I can't, like, I can't like vote we him out. This, that'd yeah. be fucked up. Yeah, dude, we made it like right to the end, and I, I, I well, I wasn't gonna vote you out because I royally fucked up on uh, on the first season anyway for the finale, because I, I completely went the wrong way. I think it was a bad challenge though, and the uh, yeah, we both later. did though, yeah. dude. Soup never showed the question. I took so long on that one question. Yeah, well, I, I think the uh, creator of Gillenor Games should be shot. Anyone else or? <laughs> Wow. Uh, I think you know. <laughs> yeah. So the reason that this, the reason I did the season one race across the map was because for a lot of these like competition reality shows, the finale is usually like them having a massive endurance race across like you know a mountain range or something. You know something crazy. And they have, they have to do tasks along the way. So I thought it might translate okay into a RuneScape finale type deal, but it ended up just being a, a case of you guys running and the tasks you were doing weren't exactly crazy tasks. Um, so it was just a case. Pick up of... a cabbage and don't eat it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that, um, dude, but... Like, like, come on, I'm a PKer. Like, I immediately I'm gonna just get rid of inventory space yeah, if yeah. I don't need it. Oh, that that, was, that um, one, that one hurt. That was unfortunate. But that was but... like my, that, yeah, that was my own. Uh, but it made the redemption me. arc for me, which was nice. Yeah. Yep. It's true. Yeah. It's, but you um... end up winning four billion between you two, right? Or six billion? Six. Yeah. Yeah, and then you split it. Dude, that, that was, um, was that actually, like, like was that theatrics, Stefan, that you, um, that, like, you can split it and, uh, or, you No, know? he really did offer that to us. Yeah. I, uh, I didn't know it was six bill at the time. Yeah. No, so, wow. yeah. Before we the season started, I said the, the prize pool would be two bill. Um, so they, they thought they were splitting two bill with one another. Um, but then before the season started, I decided to do a, a community prize pool as opposed to having just two bill. Because I figured it could, it might add up to a bit more. I didn't expect it to be um, eleven bill, but that's fucking nuts. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I just edited it in a way to make it seem like they already they already knew what it was. But they genuinely did get asked if they were splitting the money or not. So I, I don't think it yeah. would have made a difference if they were. I don't know. Maybe it would, but did or it <laughs> might have. But I don't know. For we'll drama see. purposes, I could I could have drummed it up and just yeah. you know message Perf later, be like, all right, I'll split this with you later. Yeah, but. yeah I should have done that. I should have been like, I'm gonna <laughs> steal this, and then I would have like said it's just so I can give it to myself. Like, oh man, point. could you imagine the response? To oh your, my to your, like, <laughs> your channels and stuff if you had taken the money after all this stuff that had happened. Yeah. <laughs> you think anyone would have taken the money? Solo mission. I, I think I think you I think <laughs> yeah. you might have done. I think you might. I think have. the engineer would have taken it. Yeah. Well, I don't know why he's asking like questions. I, I, yeah. He would have screwed. Look, look at him over, trying to deflect bro. the blame, bro. Look at this just guy. vicious. Yeah. He would. Yeah. He would. Yeah, he would have, he would have screwed me over, man. I he would have taken it. the money and given it to like Jimmy just to piss him off, bro. <laughs> yeah. I feel that. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay, Solo, would you have? Would you have uh, snake? Yeah, we'll, we'll never know. We'll never know. <laughs> yeah, you'll, you'll never know. But I don't know. The PR department might have not allowed it. You know, <laughs> it might be all too far. the guys upstairs. The PR department. Yeah, the, the whole GG backroom cast would have been against it. The uh, yeah, I see some people asking. Yeah, so the prize pool was eleven bill. Six bill went to the first place. Two bill to second place, and then the rest was split up between, you know, what place all the other people got. So I think, you know, Jen, for Jen and Dave walked away with like 500 mil each. They, they split like half a bill. Ah, that's my um, boy. Yeah. Boy, so, he's good. so they, cause they got third place, you know, and then it just went like down from there. Um, C engineer actually walked away with zero GP cause he lost his stake, uh, to Let's get go. To, to framed. <laughs> um, so oh, you know, I, know, that. I know skill spikes went to sleep. Was the money he was staking the other day, the money he won from GG yeah. or is he not collected his Wait, who's uh, it? Prize oh, it. Skill specs? Uh, skill specs before the uh, arena went away. Was that? No, no. I, I actually held on to his earnings until the, the duel arena, <laughs> until the duel arena uh, <laughs> got taken out of the game. So I, I traded so, him as 100 mil the day after it got removed. He actually so. lucked out right before uh, the duel arena was nerfed, and he he already had like 3.5 bills. So he got whatever you gave him on top of that. Oh so. wow. Oh, okay. Oh, that's okay. good. So him, that's good. Yeah, yeah. I want him to have money. That's my yeah, boy. he's doing well. Yeah. Good. Uh, I get this question asked a bunch, but for the RuneScape hide and seek episode, there was like I remember the the young savages were were in the CCs and stuff talking yeah. like that. That was allowed. Dude. Like I didn't tell them that that wasn't allowed. So that wasn't on them. That it wasn't in the Bro. rule. It wasn't in the rules not to talk to people about where locations were. Um, the thing is, people were so good. Like 
Dude, that, so that was insane. I was that so episode bad. was insane. Like, do you guys got yeah, the location? None of our teams even won, so, though. Yeah, Jimmy and yeah. Settled won. Jimmy and Settled <laughs> yeah. still won at the end of the day. But that was crazy. I, I went into that challenge so cocky, thinking it would take you guys, you know, six minutes for some locations, eight minutes. Nope. Literally, everybody, somebody got it within two minutes every single time. That being said, the if locations was, weren't that difficult, but I think some were still pretty tricky. I think the only one I got was the one in Falador right away. And I think after that, if it wasn't for the Young Savages, me and Turtle still would not have found a single one. Yeah, after Dude, Murph, that, Murph killed it with the Ogre one, like south of Castle Wars. Mm -hmm. He just instantly knew that one. See, that saved you guys because you would have been last That's what place. saved us. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah were, we, were like, we were like middle of the pack after that. Yeah. yeah. I actually have a question for you guys since I get this question asked all the time. Like, what do you think should be changed for next season when it comes to to plugins and wiki usage like do you, i i think i think that makes the most sense to get rid of a lot of the overpowered plugins um you know for example like the the rogues and plugins stuff like that you know the ones that show you kind of what to do um but what do you think about like wiki usage do you think i should just do it where i just go straight into a challenge as opposed to giving you guys prep time or, or like you know should i let you use the wiki but only during the challenge so you're wasting time looking at, at the wiki you know while the mm. challenge is happening like i think just consistency think? is like i think it's yeah, pretty yeah. i think it's pretty cutthroat like if we don't get to use any wikis or plugins but yeah. if we're all set at the same rules that's that could be like really interesting to watch so mm -hmm. i don't really mind the, the anagrams without wiki would be so chaotic i think that would be really that would be more fun to watch for the viewer because we would be so lost on some of the items yeah like yeah. That would the thing is like the only thing I think of is what if there's a case where you genuinely just can't figure it out and then you're just stood there for, you know. I guess it that doesn't really create content. Yeah, you still need content like, to actually show the viewer. You need, like, if I'm just sitting there for 30 minutes trying to figure out what a word is, <laughs> like, which is very possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. It would be the greatest that's true good. that's true I, I see a lot of people being like you should have not allowed them to use the clue scroll plugin but like I mean, you guys know some clue scrolls are impossible if you don't yeah. if you can't yeah. look it up you know so i think what an everyday runescape player uses we should be able to use maybe yeah like, i think oh, everyone's so. a critic as well so. yeah of course you know, yeah they love, they love to <laughs> hate on anything like, yeah, yeah yeah exactly next I season we, we use the official use client yeah, uh, and I'm good. We use the official Jag client next I season. I think we are good, actually. That's yeah. awful. <laughs> I, I, I'm not I think gonna. We should be yeah. able to use AHK. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just get someone to play it for me, or is that not, is that all? Okay. Yeah. I um. Yeah, I definitely have to figure it out. I, I think it makes the most sense to, you know, ban certain plugins. I think you guys are all probably in agreement with that. But I'm curious I, if I, it's just a case of like. I tell you guys what the challenge is, and I'm like, okay, go. You know, like no prep time. Boom. Go. I think that would be yeah. sick. I think that would be well. I would. Do I think it depends on the challenge personally. Yeah. yeah. I do think though, like helping each, like other teams helping teams that are in the banning. I think that should not be allowed. But like that's, I don't know. Like let's say the the unscrambling oh, the thing. Yeah. Yeah, in the bannings, like if like let's say the unscrambling. If I don't know if that happened, but like if other teams like PM you the words or the like the correct items, <laughs> I think that would be a bit like meh but mm -hmm. i can neither yeah. confirm nor deny anything like that's, that yeah yeah okay. we'll, we'll never know we'll never know Obviously, that's just we'll one of the know. things we'll, one what, like for the first episode soup the money making one i think we did have a little bit of time to prepare so me and torvesta were on wikipedia like googling shit i remember to do yeah but you i think if you just I think one of those like if you, if you just like sent us into that right away you're just like all right move to your channels and start like we would have been like googling on the that would have been like, insane yeah, that would have been I'm nice. so sad that Skill Specs did not box somebody for his GP at the end of that. That would have been funny. Because I remember at the very end, he asked, or at the very start, he's like, is staking allowed? Yeah. And then you're like, yeah, you know what? For the content, why not? If he had found a, a 30k stake, and then he, yeah. he wins it, G, <laughs> the tax takes off 2k, he walks away with 58k, bro. Still would have gotten last. I mean, that that first challenge was... was seems so long ago, but it, this, the stuff that happened during that one, too, was crazy. Fucking Kevin pulling two items, and you know, almost back-to-back -back chests, one of them being a case. We, we were at 3.7 mil. We thought we, like, did the worst. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was wild. But, hey, that, that's what happens, man. You never know what, uh, what happens during a day. Do you guys think, um, obviously, the the challenges from the first season compared to the second season, I think they definitely got better. Um, but uh, is so, there any, any challenge I, you want to see next time? Oh, sorry. I thought you were asking a different question. No, yo, feel free to say whatever you wanted to say. Oh, I might be biased, but I didn't like the nightmare challenge. Mm, okay. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. That, that, that was, was my favorite challenge. Like, <laughs> as a spectator, right, off, as a spectator that was really fun to see, like how you guys would play that. That was mm. that was really fun. It was yeah, fun to see. But we're the, in a group chat, just like watching you guys. We were hyped. 
Oh, the husks fun. make it so RNG, though. Dude, darling, thank you like, so much. Oh, about, like, dollars. That's so, so nice of you. So. Thank you, thank you. I love <laughs> you so much. That's very, very nice of you. Thank you. So I, I think the idea for that challenge was a good one, but it's hard when you are trying yeah. to get the boss to tank a certain person. Like, someone has to be the tank in, like, a room of I think maybe people. if you gave them PK gear as well, and then they're in the mm. nightmare, and they go... Yeah, well, we, we, we had binds, didn't we, or some shit? Yeah. 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 <laughs> the only thing I remember, I, I, I think that that challenge was really cool. It was unfortunate. Yeah, you know, with the husks. I do remember Peepy not having his attack options though, and I also remember him just not knowing that he had to attack the husks. So he was like, he was trapped by the <laughs> husks you, the entire time, not knowing he needed yeah, to I, attack I them. Get out. I know you get trapped, right? I know you get trapped, but mm -hmm. don't the husks like focus random people anyway? No, they focus the person they they focus the person they they trap and uh, yeah. they, oh, okay. they attack with different attack styles. Mm -hmm. I see. Yeah, there's a melee yeah, in range. PP goes down. Oh PP goes God. down. Yeah, <laughs> that was so funny. That blooper, that blooper part was good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd love, I'd love to see the hide and seek one back because you can obviously do different locations. The viewers can get involved. Like mm -hmm. you guess them as you go along. Well, the uh, I think that one can just be spiced up with. Like I said this earlier, you know, like I'm, I do it on a PVP world. You guys have entangles, and you can entangle people you see running to the locations and stuff. You know, like that could just be really cool in general. Oh yeah, that would be really. It's good. just like there's so many different ways to. I, I think. I'll definitely bring back some of the challenges we did this season, but I'll just, you know, add twists to it. I won't keep them exactly the same. Like I'll, I'll make yeah. them a little bit different, you know, cause I think some things people really want to see again. Um, yeah. If I had to, if, I also, good, good. I'm sorry. I was gonna say, I also really like the fire cape, this one, like not necessarily because of the fight caves. Cause you did that last time, but the double component of the value of the gear <laughs> along with the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, my uh, it, it, it was, it was like, it made it very interesting because but well, obviously there was two components to it. So yeah. Yeah, just adding yeah. twists to current. I probably, I'll say this now, I probably won't do fire cape again. I'll probably, no, no, I'll probably yeah. upgrade from there if you know, if you know what I'm Inferno? saying. If you know what I'm saying, I'll probably upgrade. Uh, but Ooh. we'll see, we'll see. I think uh, I like the combo challenges. I think like a from scratch, and then you have to do some sort of PVM or some sort right. of like yeah, I agree. something because there, there's been from scratch and then fight pits. I think there's been from scratch and then PVP. I don't think there's been a from scratch and then PVM. Mm -hmm. I agree. That's what I wanted to say as well. I That'd actually be, really like cool. the <laughs> underground pass. Like, I didn't like it while I was doing it, but as I watched the episode, I didn't realize how much like IQ was like. Like, I didn't realize that the bottom part was like yeah, shorter was than smaller. The like, yeah. I had nothing, to, and also I messed up using my stamina pot. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like if I I thought a little bit more, we would have played that a little better. <laughs> yeah, that that was probably my favorite one, the underground pass one. The only regret yeah. I have is that I didn't make it clear enough with the Din's bulwark that. Ah, uh, yeah, that, that was. That you guys oh, yeah. Yeah. I didn't make it clear uh, enough. I, I, and, and, oh, and I man. think that I think if if I had just had you guys maybe like wear granite instead, then that first yeah. section where you're all running through the traps that are like back to back to back, I think somebody would have died there from Megan Tank like binded yeah. on the trial. I think it would have been so <laughs> hectic. Thing, I, I think I joined like a Discord call with you straight away after the start. I was like, oh, can we restart? Can we restart? It's like fucked. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 just I, at that point, I was like, I was thinking like, okay, if I have everybody restart, everybody has to go back and get more food and all that yeah. stuff. I was like, at that point, I was like, screw it. At the I end of the day, yeah. though, I think the the shortcut though that only a few teams uh, ended up doing ended up being the major. Factor yeah, I, anyway, I feel so. like Barry's team would have won either way. Yeah. I also like the twist where um, because Ditter and uh, Torvester were the previous winners, they could choose the order. I yeah. thought that was cool. Stuff like that, where like the uh, winners oh, yeah, I of the put previous the young week savages get something like the... where they can benefit the next week. Yeah, I put the young savages in the closest spots to like the end, and I put Jimmy all the way north just because. Yeah, and then me right next. Yeah, to that Jimmy. was a, that was actually a telltale sign to who the allies were as well. Yeah, yeah like yeah, why exactly. would they organize them in that in that order? I was a bit worried about yeah. that to be honest. That's um that's something a lot of people have have also wanted to change. Like they think that. The winners should be rewarded more and that the losers of that day's challenge should be like it should be like a harsher punishment you know like i think if i had changed it where if that person who get if the person who gets last place that day not only um had one vote for them but like they also weren't allowed to vote that day like imagine that had been the, the case so if you got last mm. you literally have no no say in that day's banning would, would have been a bit harsher yeah that could be cool but it's also yeah. the case of like you know, for example, you know, when Kevin's power went out, you know, for the, the RuneScape hide and seek challenge, like and they, they got last that day. Is it fair to like give them a harsh punishment because I don't know, because if you know somebody can't vote for you, then it kinda you just vote for them, right? I feel like they just always go into the banning then. Yeah, we like I don't know. Went into the banning. Because you're yeah. trying to think of like let me vote for somebody who might vote for me, but yeah. if you know they can't vote for you, you're just gonna vote for them. Yeah. I would just feel bad giving a harsh punishment to somebody when you know, for example, something that was out of their control happened, like their power going out, internet going out. 
I don't know. Yeah. Family member you, emergency you should have or kicked something. You know? Kevin, but kept me <laughs> for having his power go out. Dude, we should yes. have some sort of some sort of marbles thing for like from Squid Games. Like, uh, you you think you're with your partner? You're like, oh man, awesome! I get to be with my my friend. Mm -hmm. and it's like one of you has to go. One of you has to go. Oh, hey, shit. That's, a, that's a twist right there, man. That is a twist. Ooh. Um, let me actually write that notepad really quick. Squid Game. <laughs> hey, Marbles. actually a lot of inspiration yeah. from Squid Game, man. The um, thing is, if you make it more based on the positions, though, like the power dynamic does skew a bit in the teams because yeah. some teams do finish on average higher. Like, yep. I think, for example, our team, we did finish towards the top every single time. Mm -hmm. and, like we, like, I think it's good that every team is on a similar playing field at the start of every week. Yeah, I think we, I mean. yeah. we ended in the bottom almost every single time. So. Yeah, do you know what I mean? It might get this repetitive i don't know yeah like no. maybe well, hey. maybe if you had like an immunity token that you could use at some point or some shit i don't know something like that yeah immunity tokens are something that get suggested all the time based on like yeah that, yeah that's people who watch survivor that in, uh... yeah exactly i think it would be cool to yeah like i don't know i'll have to figure out i think that's what that's what's exciting though about just like planning a season it's just like planning the twist for the season and and people not we all know it's going to be watching week, like so we know you're gonna right. watch like 20 different reality shows just to get ideas. You, you know, you know, I'm, the that, challenge. You, you love the know, challenge. Bro. I love That's the challenge. Your favorite one. I love the challenge. Yeah. Take a lot of inspiration from that survivor. So, yeah, you guys, if you want to do your research, you know, watch those shows and you know, all that stuff. But, yeah, next season, <laughs> I'm definitely gonna try to go ahead, Jen. Sorry. A, a pretty cool challenge you could do, right? This is what I was thinking because me and David did um, a challenge video based on it. You could like share your screen and draw an item and then everyone has to then go and get that item and the first person obviously to get it back wins that sort of group but it could be anything you could literally draw like a, a room plate body and you've got to go and like make the money for that room plate body or, or get it as a drop or stuff Ooh, like that oh that's cool oh that's cool that's, like that's a, a, draw, show, a draw my yeah. from scratch yeah yeah, oh, yeah, that's that's soup, yeah. yeah, yeah that's cool. send, send me a dm with that idea so i don't forget yeah. that jen i like that a lot yeah, then you draw a scythe. <laughs> oh, I really like the uh, I like See, the teaser, dude. The blindfold teaser. I think some sort of blindfold challenge, like like with your team, would be cool. Mm -hmm. So like one person's blindfolded and the other person has to walk them through. Like, that blindfold your thing was so funny to film. We were laughing so hard. Dude, when they when they collapse your tabs. Yeah, yeah. The thing is, like, I they weren't like obviously they weren't taking it that seriously either. So it made it even funnier. Yeah. Like. Kevin teleports me with a hundred mil in my inventory onto the wild. Tom tells me to click fifty thousand times on a coin stack, you know, all that stuff. It was it's like, uh, okay, click fifty thousand times. Yeah, it was so funny. <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously, um, it's gonna be a uh, you know different season next time, so I'm excited to see what happens. Uh, um, question. Yo. When do you plan on starting recording the next season? If there is a next season. Good question, man. I don't know, like. Obviously, we were able to do it pretty quickly last time. We, we did it, what, from February to May last time because we were all kind of at home anyway because of, uh, you know, what was happening in the world. So there was a, people had a lot of free time. Um, I mean, I think the safest thing is, is always just filming in the spring. Editing happens in the summer, releases in the fall. So I guess uh, I think that will be my goal again. So I, I guess probably around January, February is when I'll send out you know, invitations and all that stuff. So we'll have to figure it out. I mean, it's, it's genuinely like a year long process to, to come out with GG. So it's, uh, you know how it is. It's, it's a lot of work, but it's just, it's just really fun to come up with it. I'm happy. It's something people like, um, yeah. So, and yeah. I, I, I think you would greatly benefit from editors if you want them to adopt your same style. I mean, you've already created so many content, so mm -hmm. much content with that style that they can easily just take the assets that you have, the wonderful, uh, graphics that Hootie made for you and they can they can help you edit like that has been massive for my channel and like my ability to upload lately so i'd love to put you in touch with some people um that will help you do that yeah definitely getting getting people on board in the production process is going to be better like you know for all the for a lot of people who don't know it's my a lot of people probably hopefully do know but you know all the, all the shots of you guys standing together at the start of the episode middle at end of the episode those are all b-roll shots you know we don't actually stand and i don't make you guys actually do all that stuff so that takes up a lot of time is filming filming all those b-roll shots or just having somebody to be in charge of something like that would be easily helpful and or easily save me a lot of time and all that stuff but um i'm just looking forward to to getting together with everybody in calls again and just seeing what happens you know i think it's going to be so fun uh so yeah, yeah i can't wait can't cannot wait um sweet cool 
why well, th this actually lasted longer than I thought, but I'm happy they all joined it. It stirred up some things. So that's, that's always good. <laughs> uh, awesome. Yeah. I guess you guys have any, any, any final words for the people who didn't say a final word last time? Tom, are we playing a CSGO after this? <laughs> Tom, you know I'll be on for some crab game in CS after this, right? You Let's know, go don't go to bed game. yet, Tom. Don't go to bed yet. <laughs> uh, cool. Well, yeah, I guess I've already said this, but I'll say it again. Thank you uh, to all of you who are on the season. I appreciate you all very much. I love you all. And uh, hopefully we can hang out next year, not only in Discord, but also at a RuneFest. Uh, I'm praying. Yeah. Absolutely praying. TwitchCon? Yeah. TwitchCon yeah, RuneFest. Yeah, I just want to go to an, a CS major, bro, anything. I, I will go to anything, bro. <laughs> Uh, we'll make it happen. Um, you should read the PB's comment in the YouTube. Uh, a what? Uh, PB asked you a question in the oh, YouTube PB. section. Soup do a mukbang um, with your sister again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, <laughs> if the sister videos do well, we'll bring them back, bro. Right. I know you guys are watching those just for the food too, so that is the only reason why. All right, guys, I'm gonna yeah. head off the call, but uh, <laughs> thank you again for for chilling today, hey, answering some questions, and um, yeah, I love you all very much. Peace out, everybody. See you later. Bye. 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 Okay, chat. It is now time for one on one again with me and you. Who's still here? Who still has questions for me? I will answer any questions you guys have for. Uh, that may not have been answered during that little session with uh, the competitors from the season. Shout out again to them for uh, for being here. Um, by the way, thank you to everybody who did donate during that session. I love you all very much. I have some of the questions you guys asked during the um, uh, that that I may have missed. So while I'm gone, Framed Jimmy and C Engineer are going to play a game with you guys. What game that is, I don't know. I need, they need to come up with it. I need to go pee really quick and uh, warm up a sandwich. So I'll be gone for three minutes. They're in charge of the chat. They have to play, make you guys play a game. I'll be right back. And then I'll, I'll answer some more questions. Okay. Hello? See engineer? Oh, hey. What? What's up, man? Uh, I, I misclicked. I'm sorry, man. You misclicked. Yeah. What a, what a, what a guy. What a guy. Who, who even is he, bro? What, what, what a guy. Okay, uh, please mute Discord sounds. Wait, I'm, were you guys getting baited by Discord sounds? I apologize for that. Um, my bad, fellas, my bad. Okay, boys and girls, uh, I am now here to answer any questions I may have missed. Once again, holy moly, by the way. Tom, stop! Okay, this, how do I mute? Okay, mute C engineer for one hour okay he's muted guys sorry 
<laughs> Once again, thank you to everybody who donated uh, during the live stream. I'm sorry I couldn't give a more personal thank you, but there was a lot of talking happening. Um, okay, dude, this is just... These, I'm just I'm just exiting Discord completely. This is these are my so-called friends, chat. These are my so-called friends sabotaging my own live stream. I'm trying I'm trying to be professional here. I'm trying to be professional, chat. Okay, Jesus. Um Dean Nelly, thanks for the five dollars. Who would join a call and say random stuff? Can you imagine that doing that on a live stream? Yeah, it couldn't be me, bro. It couldn't be it couldn't be me. Okay. Once again, thank you to everybody who donated. Uh, thank you to everybody that subscribed during that uh, portion of um, the live stream. I have some of your questions that were asked on your donations. If you guys did donate and, and I missed the question, feel free to ask it again. Uh, let me go through these. Um, to all the competitors who assumed a personality during the games, what was the most difficult part of playing into that personality? I think though that question was pretty much answered uh, during, during the, the question and answer section. But to answer that question for myself, I think everybody on there, I don't think there was many people playing a personality. I think some people, a lot of people just played the way they wanted to play. They played themselves. I think some of them definitely upped it a little bit. You know, of course, Solo Mission, I would say, upped the villain role a little bit. But he played the the, the role the best. Um, I, th I think he was the MVP of the season. Um, second question. I loved all the competitors, but Solo made it vastly more entertaining. Verf Kemp was inspiring. Jimmy Frames, the engineer, Tanzu Verdoso added comedic relief. Swamp Man, good, and I believe in Ditter Better. Ditter Better! Is that a is that a storyline for next season? We're going from Ditter Bitter to Ditter Better. Ditter Better to Ditter Better. Season 3 donation, if that's okay. Okay, I'll, I'll take a season 3 donation. Here we go. Okay. If you guys had any questions that I missed, thank you for the one mil, my friend. This is now a donation stream. This will go towards the season 3 prize pool. I love you. You're a beast. Okay, any questions? Have you thought about a challenge related to examine options of items, objects, slash NPCs? Like maybe a hide and seek where you go stand next to something and the clues are the examine text of the things near you. That's a really cool, that's a very cool idea. That's unique, something we've never done before. Um, that's actually a really good idea for RuneScape hide and seek. Instead of only doing pictures, I can mix up the entire challenge with things like pictures, examine texts, um, Things, things along those lines. That's that's a very good idea. That's a very, very good idea. I, I'm impressed with that. Soup, do you think... Do you give main accounts to the people who normally play Iron Man? Or do they bring their own accounts? So, the majority of people who play on mainly on Iron Man have a main account that they used. Um, they just had access to another account that they were able to, you know, use for that day's challenge. Uh, I did lend a couple of accounts to certain people for certain challenges throughout the season. But for the most part, they were all able to play on their own accounts that they, they owned. I want a type group qualification for final spots. What do you mean by that, uh, Declan? Makes it a little too easy to search on the wiki. That's why the pictures were so good. True, yeah. I guess they could just search it on the wiki, right? I forgot about that. The damn wiki, man. The wiki is too good. Do you think you can invite some OSR's wiki admins on for an episode? It's an extremely dedicated side of the community that gets no coverage, and the game knowledge some of them have is insane. I'm, I'm, up, I'm up for lots of ideas. I am up for lots of ideas. What were your favorite moments to witness during the season? Ah, oh, man, so many, dude. Uh, framed in Sea Engineer, pulling a Carol's top in the first episode. The Cook's Assistant banning with Ditter and Torv. Um, the Rogue's Den banning with Ditter, Torv, Solo, uh, and Guns Chili. Um, the entire Underground Pass relay race was hilarious. The finals was awesome. Um, my most important question to you guys is, what did you like the most? You know, that, that's what I. I hope you guys all had a moment that you thought was amazing, was really good. Once again, I'll I'll mention this in the description below this live stream. I have a link to not only the merch for this season, superrs.store. Make sure you guys all grab a blanket. By the way, check this out. Gilnor Game Season 2 blanket. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Ah. A GG blanket. GG blanket. Um, yeah, so there's also a survey down there where you guys can give me your feedback from the season. And based off your feedback, that's how I can try to 
create you know form the next season's format and you know who's going to be invited back to the show and stuff like that so yeah will gg season three be an hd i'm gonna be honest with you guys hd is a controversial topic i most likely will not be using hd for any gilinar games footage i per i think i think people are more okay with these graphics as opposed to hd graphics i think some people would not watch gilinar games if it was purely in hd um god tom this kid bro i i hate tom i i hate i did this guy man this guy dude um so yeah i i don't think i i don't think i'll use hd hey guys I, i'm i i'll i'm not gonna probably accept any gg donations uh, at the moment that was this was just a one-off hold your money for now once i make the announcement for season three then you guys can can, can chuck me some cash Tom has me added on everything, man. Uh, hardest part of acting as a host outside of editing slash B-roll. Um, hardest part of acting as a host. My hardest part of acting as a host is having to eliminate people and also having to, you know, not invite certain people back and having to invite certain people back. You know, that's... Or that's not a hard part, inviting people back. But as you all know, there were some people on the first season who didn't come back and it's really hard to not invite back a lot of the people I see as, uh, you know, close friends. For those of you asking about the editing process, I'll show you guys my Adobe Premiere. I'm going to grab some water really quick. show you guys the um episode two gold rush okay why not add hd or normal graphics question to the survey i'm not going to add an hd or normal graphics question because i just don't think i'm going to use hd graphics like i said i i just i think a lot of people would simply just not watch gilinar games if there was hd graphics i as weird as it sounds i just really don't think that'd be the case Um, one thing I wanted to see changed was the redemption challenge. Super felt really bad to see the guys come back and just be knocked out straight back out, make them immune for winning. Oh, you, are you saying it, it felt bad seeing Seldon and Jimmy win the redemption challenge and then come back and get knocked out? I mean, do you think it would have been fair of me to place Jimmy and, and settled straight back into the main challenge as opposed to just put them in that day's banning instead? Do you think that would have been fair? Hey, Declan, I'll, I'll check my Instagram, my man. Definitely. I, I will after today's live stream. <clears throat> I had a donation question. How do you feel about inviting bigger YouTubers that also play the game like Penguin Zero? I think Critical would be amazing to have on. I think Critical would be awesome. The chances of, of him accepting the invite are probably low, but it no doesn't hurt to have bigger people on. I felt bad for Eviescape and Skiddler. I had a lot of people... Okay, so I, I want to actually talk to you guys about this. I had so many people talk to me about the fact that they thought it was unfair that Eviescape and Skiddler had to do so many more bannings than Jimmy and Settled, who only had to do one. But if we're looking at if we're looking at a redemption challenge from, from like a sports standpoint, an, an elimination bracket, the teams that are lower ranked have a harder time to get back into the main game than the teams that are higher ranked. Jimmy and Settled had to go through six episodes worth of challenges and bannings, whereas Eviescape and Skiddler only had to go through one. So it makes the most sense, in my opinion, to do it the way I did it. I can understand why you guys might not like the fact that they had to do so many more. But if you think about it, if it's to, to get... To get to that point in the game that Jimmy and Settle did, they made it to episode 6 before they got knocked out. Eviescape and Skiddler almost skipped 5 challenges worth of 
of GG, epi- uh, five challenges worth of episodes, and they could have been back into the main game. So Jimmy and Settle played way longer than Eviescape and Skidler did. So in my opinion, it was it would have been harsh of me to give them the same easy pass back into the game, in a sense. It's tough. I don't think there's a perfect way to do it. I think some people prefer it the way I did it, and I think some people would have preferred if I would have done a, an even challenge for everybody. You know, So it's you guys have to realize that with a lot of these challenges and bannings, there's no perfect balance. There's no perfect balance. I'm going to probably piss people off doing it something the way I, I preferred to do it, unfortunately there's no there's no 100 percent winning formula people are always going to be annoyed that i do something the way i did it and that's just something i have to be okay with um i personally was okay with the redemption challenges maybe i would have changed a couple things up but hey that that's just the way it is uh what are your thoughts on inviting creators from outside the game and having them partner with old school creators to form teams yeah i mean here's what i don't want to happen to gillinar games like I, I still want the majority of people to be on to be RuneScape creators. I actually think that if I invite too many like random people on who aren't part of the RuneScape scene, that might take away from the charm of Gilinor games b- simply because it's this is like a RuneScape thing. This is a RuneScape scene thing. So if I invite too many like people who aren't part of the scene in, I don't I don't want it to lose that charm. It's gonna be really tough coming up with the cast. I I don't know I. I it's going to be, it's going to be, I don't know. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Um, I think it was fair thing. Well, thank you. I'd love to see some Castle Wars included in some way or another. Castle Wars has been suggested so many times. I definitely agree with you. I think Castle Wars would be a really cool idea. I think there's, there's a lot of strategy to Castle Wars. And I think a lot of people don't realize that. It would make for a really entertaining episode. So that is definitely on my list for uh, the third season. Imagine Ditterbitter trying to teach someone through Cook's assistant. I mean, hopefully he knows how to do it now, you know? Hopefully he knows how to do it. How about off-season GG content creators? Here, yeah, I mean, here's the thing, guys. I would love to do I would love to do year-long Gilinor Games episodes, but every Gilinor Games episode is probably 100-plus hours of prep time. So... That would just take up my day every single day for three three hundred sixty five days a year. I need some time. I need I need some time off for myself, and I would need to have more people on board for that. I would genuinely need a production team for that type of thing. I don't know how to form a production team. I'm not. I have not been in the industry long enough to know how to do that. But this might be a good chance for me to to try to find some people who are willing to help out, and and it'd be really cool to to lead a. I would absolutely love to lead a team. For the next season of Gilinar Games. It's something I really want to do. How about a round that involves dead mini games like Trouble Brewing? Whenever I think about coming up with a challenge or a banning, I think about would it be entertaining for the viewers? So think of Trouble Brewing. Would a Trouble Brewing mini game, would a, a Trouble Brewing banning be exciting for the viewers? I think you could make it exciting. But uh, I don't know if it's something people would want to watch. I- I'd have to look more into it. Want to lead our CS game right now. Uh, Kevin, I want to play CS very badly, but I'm spending time with my viewers. So stop baiting me. Uh, I love you. How about an Xmas Gilinor Games special? Here's the thing I don't want I don't want to milk Gilinor Games too much. I'm I'm not I've seen I've seen some people saying I've been milking Gilinor Games for for a couple of weeks now. This will pro- I'll probably be up- uploading one or two more videos based around Gilinor Games and then we're taking a break. We're going to take a break from GG. I don't want to overproduce it. I don't want to spam it out. I don't want to shove it down your throats. So there's going to be a bit of a break. What's most likely happen is we're going to I'll put out a teaser, you know, next spring, next summer for season three and we'll and we'll go from there but season two is uh you know done and dusted it's in the books and that's why i'm here today talking to all of you so yeah appreciate you finley thank all right finley danny appreciate you man will the use of fcs be for, forbidden next season so next season we're definitely going to be banning some things i'm probably going to ban certain plugins i'm probably going to ban communication in game and outside the game with other teams during challenges 
that you can you can assure that some of the the kinks that needed to be fixed from this season will will definitely be fixed for the next one so but here's the thing guys again you have to realize this when it comes to a new format of a season things are always going to like new problems will arise there's going to be things people don't like uh people didn't like alliances people a lot of people didn't like the alliances this season but a lot of people really liked the alliances you know alliances are a, a tricky topic um, I think you guys can probably agree that some of you liked the alliances and some of you didn't like the alliances. I think the alliances were very good this season. I think they hyped up the drama. I think they made things way more exciting. So I'm personally a fan of them. Um, and that's just going to make the next season more exciting with what's going to happen. Thank you, Brandon. I appreciate that comment, man. I, I, I definitely I definitely have a vision for Gilinor games and I know exactly what I want to do. Um, and I hope that... Uh, People are, are understanding of that, which I think everybody is. Fresh account. First one to kill a greater demon wins. That's a cool one. I think you did amazing. And if I, I'd i like to give you a smooch on the forehead. Well, next RuneFest, which is hopefully next year. Hopefully I can see you guys in real life. And then you can give me that smooch on the forehead. How about that? Is there any reason why Rog and Link weren't on Season 2? If I'm being honest, man, there's just a limited amount, a limited amount of cast spots. I had the 20 I had in mind for season two. Um, a couple people didn't accept. I had other people fill in. And there's just so many RuneScape content creators, man. There's hundreds. There's hundreds of creators. So only choosing a certain amount of people to have on is tough. Um, so, yeah. <clears throat> Thanks, Lars. Danke, danke. Ich liebe dich. As long as alliances don't impact challenge outcomes, I'm a fan of them. Gotcha. Yeah, so like just outside of the challenges you're saying. Episodes with no elimination, but perks instead. So the winner of the day goes against a voted person. Voted a person for a perk or a chance to add a perk instead of a banning. That's a cool idea. I love that. Very cool. <clears throat> do you looking? Do you regret the final banning challenge seeing as Zulu easily won? Not really, man. Not really. I, I think the fact that Zulu was, um, was good at Sorcerer's Garden, like I think that's such a random thing to be good at. I couldn't have predicted it. I, I think they just deserved the win. The Deutsch was hot. Thanks, Ali. Good to see you, by the way. Have you thought about how many people you would have on for season two? Uh, for season three? I mean, did you guys think that 20 people was a good number of people to have on? Did you guys think 20? Like, I think more than 20 might be too much. Because then we're looking at editing 20 plus perspectives and it might be hard to follow. I think 20, 20 was a good amount to have on. Thanks, Ryan. Appreciate you, man. Here's the, here's the exciting thing. I can produce more Gilinar Games content. I can I can come up with I can come out with more episodes. I just need to have more people on the team producing. I can't do it all myself. So if I'm able to secure a production team for the next season who help out with B roll, editing, graphics, then I can easily have more episodes and we can come out with the seasons more. But at the moment, I'm doing 90% of the production process myself. You know, scheduling, editing, B-roll. I'm doing it all myself. So I, uh, I, I need to figure out a better process, uh, without a doubt. Four Zone, thanks for the five bucks. Hey, Soup, I loved every minute of the second season. You set a new bar. What is your opinion on mixing teams of small versus big RuneScape creators? Next season will feature new, smaller creators, as well as see a bunch of the veterans from this season return. So you definitely can expect a, a mix of, 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 of people next time. Yeah, that'd be very cool. The Underground Pass stuff. <clears throat> In what direction would you like to see GG take? Could you expand a little more on your vision of Gilinor Games? I mean, my vision of Gilinor Games is just to continue to come out with a consistent season every year. And also perfect the errors that are, that pop up every season i think the first season there was a lot of issues we fixed a lot of those, those issues in the second season some new issues popped up from this season that should be fixed hopefully for the next season um for season three we can fix a lot of the issues i think some people had issues with the voting this time and and they also said that coming last place this season wasn't um harsh enough um and all that stuff so yeah Uh, 
are you looking to retain most of the cast for season three or would you like to have a mix of new and old i'll most likely be inviting back 10 to 12 people from this season and inviting eight to ten new people for uh the next season so probably 10 rookies 10 veterans something like that what constitutes a smaller creator I mean, that's up to you. I mean, uh, a smaller creator to me is just maybe somebody who isn't as known in the community. Would you ever want to take part in the games yourself? No, I actually like hosting way more than being a part of the games. I'm not good enough. I'd embarrass myself playing this game. I'd embarrass myself being a competitor. Being a host, way more relaxing. I get to tell people what to do. I get to watch the entire season unfold before my eyes. Would you? What about you guys? Would you? Would you guys prefer to be a host of a show like this, or would you prefer to be a, a competitor? What are your personal ambitions as content creator slash host uh, <laughs> that extend beyond GG and old school RuneScape? Here's the scary thing, man. I don't totally 100% know what I want to do outside of RuneScape and YouTube and Gilinor Games. But I love the production process of creating a show like this. So if I can be part of a, a team that, you know, is part of the production process, uh, I think that'd be a really cool thing for me to do. Um, but it's it's scary to break into the, the TV and film industry. So maybe, um, I don't know. I don't know. My hope is, I, I don't know about you guys. I, I hope that season two of Golden Our Games would be a cool, like, portfolio piece. Uh, I think if I were to show a future employer the fact that I was able to put all this together and edit and, and do all this and all that stuff, then I, I think hopefully that'd be a good portfolio piece for me. Thanks, guys. I appreciate this. Thank you very much. Are you ever going to do two seasons in one year? If that The only way two seasons in one year happens is if I have an entire team behind me. I don't. I also don't want to overdo Gilinor games. Two seasons a year might be too much, so doing one a year builds up the excitement for the season year, you know, year by year, and it's uh, it's something that I can hopefully continue to do, you know, every year until well until it ends. It's not as hard as you think to break in soup. Just need to take the first step. Yeah, I agree, Chloe. I mean, I would just just have to take the first step, you know. So the perfect G. Thank you for the twenty dollars. That's so kind of you, man. Thank you. What was the most expensive part of the production? Music royalties. Yeah, so music was the most expensive part of the season. I was paying $300 a month for a license to use about 800,000 songs. Massive library of songs. It was about 300 bucks a month. But as I've said multiple times this live stream, I think the music this season was way better this season than it was in the first season. Like, I just think the music was so beautiful. I think the music was beautiful this season. I, I think it really added to the dynamic and, and added to the intensity and drama of the episode. So I was really happy. Um, here, I'll, I'll give you guys a little... Oh, this hasn't finished editing yet. Never mind. Can you do a live finale next season? Do you guys think a live finale would... I mean... I I might disagree with you there. I think... I think... I, I think an edited finale is better than doing a finale live. I think a live finale wouldn't be as exciting. That's just That's just personally how I feel. If your license expires, will your videos get copyright claimed? No. So my license expires in December. Um, however, my videos will stay monetized. Luckily, that was a part of the contract with the music company. So, Yep, yep, yep. Why in the later episodes were the song names not on screen? I just decided to stop doing the song names on stream. I, I just told people that if they really wanted to know a song, send me a DM with a timestamp of the song you want to know, and, and we were able to do it that way. Has GG been worth it financially for you? It's such a high-quality content, but it's once a year versus uh, clickbait easy titles. So if I'm being honest with you guys, I have, I've had my best year financially this year because of Gilinor Games. Like, I, I've made... Uh, this has been by far my most successful year on YouTube. That being said, I sacrificed about seven months of my life this year 
purely to editing Gilinor games. So, and th this was like spending 10 hours a day in my room editing and figuring out what I want to do with the season. I have to, I, I don't think it, like, I don't want to be in my room seven months, 10 hours a day, seven months of the year editing. So I have to, fi I have to figure out a better, better schedule for myself. Like I stopped going to the gym. I stopped really going outside and doing a lot of things socially just to edit Gilinor games. And for my person, for my mental and physical health, like I definitely need to figure out a better schedule. Um, and that this is all it's all a learning experience man I, i'm in my i'm in my 20s i'm in my 20 i'm 27 now like i, I gotta enjoy my 20s a little bit more before i decide to stay inside all the time you know so i don't want it to take like i don't want it to take too big of a toll on my on my mental and physical health so I, I need to figure out a better schedule i'm pretty sure i probably suffer from i probably suffer from vitamin d deficiency if i'm being honest so yeah stop going outside one of us one of us uh why not hire an editor so i definitely i'm going to have some editors on board for the next season but if if you guys are editors or if you know what i'm trying to say here like it's tough when you have um excuse me when you have a vision for an episode and how you want it to be and then it, it's sometimes tough to to tell the person who's editing what you want and they might not do it perfectly but you know that's something i'm gonna have to figure out i'm 100 percent gonna have people on board uh, I'll try to hire some people who can help help out with the production process. I feel like I'm losing my voice. I haven't talked this long and talked this much in so long. I'm seeing a lot of amazing, very kind comments in the chat. Thank you all very much. Seriously, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for all the hearts and love. Um, yeah. How about a solo challenge qualifier round from a larger pool of potential participants that decides who's on season two? I've had so many people message me about like a pre-episode where I invite 10 smaller content creators on and they compete for a spot on GG season three. I'd feel really bad eliminating nine people straight off the bat, but it would lead to cool content. I think it would lead to some pretty cool content. Okay, so let me show you guys... Um, I'll show you guys my timeline really quick. Or let's see. For you guys who are wondering what my Adobe Premiere looks like. So this was episode one of Gilinar Games. Um, let me show you guys. Um, so yeah, this is what my Adobe Premiere looks like. This was the timeline of my Adobe Premiere for my first for the first GG episode. As you can see, lots of lots of clips, lots of music, lots of different cuts. Lots of nested footage, um, lots of transitions, lots of all that stuff. It was a, a one hour and five minute episode, but as you guys can see, there's like, you know, there's new songs every you know minute or so. There's you know, cl you know different different angles every, um, you know, every few seconds. Apparently, this footage is missing. Lots of different graphics and happening and stuff. But uh, this is this is what the timeline looks from the first episode. I definitely need a stronger computer for the next season because uh, I think my computer was suffering this time. Oh, whoops. Whoops. You guys want to watch the GG episode? I have it live here. Here you go. I'm going to die. Then I... Okay, sorry. Um, is there a way for viewers... If, is there a way that viewers can decide things? For example, who goes into the banning? I mean, if if I were to allow viewers to decide who goes into the banning, don't you think it would just be like a popularity contest? Yeah, Quinn, it's definitely a, a lot of my plate. Thanks, Dean. Appreciate that, yeah. Teach me Premiere Soup Senpai. Premiere is um definitely awesome. Can be frustrating. Luckily, with Adobe, there's lots of YouTube videos and stuff, which is how I learned a lot of how to how to edit. Any chance to have weaker teams appear more often after elimination? Nine Rain and Flutton, for example, are amazing and disappeared so quickly. So here's the here, that's a that's a, it's a classic elimination show dilemma, you know. Um, people who you enjoy watching get eliminated and you don't get to see them anymore. That's a, it's a tough dilemma because part of the thrill of a show like this is 
seeing who's able to stay um, as long as they can, right? Promising people that they'll come back later on in the season takes away from that thrill of being banned or that thrill of getting eliminated for you guys, you know? So while I'm okay with something like a redemption challenge where they have a chance to compete to get back in, I don't want to promise people who get eliminated spots later on in the episodes, you know? I, I think that's what makes Gilinor games exciting. That's what makes Survivor exciting. That's what makes, you know, the challenge exciting. People getting eliminated, you you're you're you know, you're on the edge you're on the edge of your seat every week hoping that your favorite person doesn't get eliminated, knowing that if they do, you're not gonna see them again. I, I think that's a, a very um exciting part of a show like this. So yeah. What do you think about raids slash late game PVM challenges? So the reason that a lot of the challenges you saw this season weren't late game PVM, you know, challenges that required you to have expensive gear. It's very, it's a very simple answer. A lot of the people on this season aren't rich. Skill specs walked into every single challenge with 10 K in his bank. So if I tell these people that they have to do God Wars dungeon, that they have to do the Inferno, but they have one, but, but they can't afford gear. Then I can't make them do the challenge that can all be solved if I can secure a private world from Jagex for next season. A private world with access to a bunch of gear um, would fix that issue. So fingers crossed for the next season, we can hopefully have unlimited, uh, you know, GP for people to use to buy gear and stuff. So finger, well, not even to buy gear, just to use gear. So yeah. Uh, near the end, have the eliminated contestants vote in a tribunal banning. Imagine if all the eliminated people suddenly could vote out solo mission. <laughs> Again, it's ri it, it's it's risky giving people who were eliminated power. It's risky. Y you have to look like what if what if somebody plays a perfect game, getting people eliminated, and all of a sudden those people get to randomly come back and vote out somebody they don't like. You know that. that it, it it would be exciting. It, de it would definitely be a twist, but would it be a fair twist? You know, if, if I'm going to add a twist, I want it to be a fair twist, you know? Can you not loan GP from the prize pool? I'd feel a bit weird loaning GP from the prize pool, but that, that is an option, Declan. That is an option. What has Jagex said about GG? I've only ever seen positivity from Jagex about Gilinar Games. I've had a lot of JMods uh, retweet the episodes. I've had some JMods say they, they want to be on the episodes. So... Hopefully, Jagex is able to work with me and, and, and we can, fingers crossed, come up with a, a private world for the next season. I was curious how everyone got the clues plus reroll clues so quickly for the Treasure Trail Challenge. Curious on the behind the scenes on that. Nice job on season two. Thanks. Uh, curious how everybody got the clue scrolls. Oh, so, so for the clue scroll challenge, I gave all the competitors implings. I paid and bought implings. And I had them all open the implings and they all got clue scrolls from implings. It was just edited in a way to make it seem like they immediately had the clue scrolls in their inventory. What about a tank test challenge where all the eliminated people are attacking? Hey, season one had that, man. It ended up, actually ended up being pretty cool. How long will the survey link be live for? And will you publish some of the results? Yeah, I'll publish some of the results. The survey will be live infinitely. It'll, well, forever. It'll be live forever. And will never um go away. A better use of eliminated favorites is to let previously eliminated opponents come back to deliver the news of elimination tasks for the elimination round. That's a cool idea. I would love that. They get to come back and announce the elimination. That's a very cool idea. That way people can see more of their of the people who got eliminated. I like that. You guys like that idea? Have the people who were eliminated come back and like announce that day's uh, challenge or banning challenge. That's a cool idea. No, next season will not be teams of two. Well, it might be teams of two. I don't know. Next season will feature a different format. So you guys can be assured that it won't be teams of two the entire season. 
Uh, you guys can look forward to a completely different chaotic format, which is going to cause lots of confusion. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, exactly. Like a cameo, you know. Would you consider having a, a co-host with you? A J-Mod appearance? Um, a co-host? I mean, what would a co-host do? Like, wh what would you suggest a co-host does on the season? A J-Mod appearance would be cool too. Yeah, without a doubt. A challenge in a PvP world where the audience can hop in and try to PK all the contestants. If I'm being honest, I I'd prefer not to have the audience know what's going on in the season that leads to a lot of spoilers and leak leaks ha happening which i don't want to happen so i most likely won't do the 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 biggest way that i'll probably include the audience for the next season is maybe at the end of every episode you guys can vote for that episode's mvp and based off who gets the most votes maybe i'll give out prizes to the person who people voted for that way you guys can be involved in the season and vote for your favorite people and stuff like that, you know. Co-host for banter and narration, maybe a bit of snark. Yeah, maybe I'll have Ron plays games be the co-host. Or maybe I'll have Ron on the season. I think Ron would be hilarious. Soul Mission comes back and says, This week's elimination is to learn how to become a snake to control your competitors' social standings. The better saboteur moves on. I love it. I love it. Spoiler alert, Verf and Zulu, winners this year, each can pick their teams like high school and they're all free agents and can trade team members. Am I correct? No, you're not correct. I'm going to say that's 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 not what's happening. I'm not a big fan of picking teams, if I'm being honest with you. I don't like picking teams. I feel bad for, pick, for people who, when it comes to picking teams because there's inevitably the people who get picked last. And I don't want to edit that. I'd be really sad. I don't want that to happen. Uh, Jacob, they they have not been sent that stuff yet. However, all those sponsors that offered to do it did in fact are in fact going to send them. I just have to get the info for for everybody. You could have the audience vote for the next week's elimination challenge. But here's the thing, Alex: like the entire season is filmed in one go. So when I release the episodes, the entire season's already been filmed. So I can't just ask the audience what they want the next next week's elimination challenge to be because well the season it's already happened so the entire season happens. Uh, oh, or, or are you saying, are you saying I? Okay, I, I think I see what you're saying. I, I just don't think it would work, but I get what you're saying. I think now. Moteplox needs to be involved in the next series. Is I don't even does Moteplox even play the game anymore? I think I saw him tweet recently. I hope he's doing well. Which duo did you think had the most banter or back and forth? I'm guessing Ditter and Torv, uh, Torvnesta. Ditter and Torvesta and Tanzu and Vertoso definitely had the most banter, yeah. Soup just edits in a second soup for a co-host. Only has to edit 25 hours a day. Uh, your series is honestly streaming service worthy. Have you thought about partnering with Hulu? Oh man, I, I that's a very nice compliment, man. But there is no way in a million years that a RuneScape series gets on a major streaming platform. But I, I really appreciate the, the sentiment. That's very nice of you. Guys, what if Facebook, what if Facebook paid me $1 million to exclusively put out GG episodes on Facebook? Would you guys hold it against me if I did that? <laughs> I think Alkin should join the next season. Um, well, like I've said before, down in the description of this video, there is a link to a Google survey. You guys can vote on the season. You guys can give your feedback on the season. You can tell me who you want to see on the next season. So make sure you fill out the survey. It gives me a good idea of who people want to see back. And um, that's a good way for me to format the next season. No, don't do it. Yes, take the money. <laughs> Lots of opinions. I get you. I thought that towards the end of the season, you had something audience engagement in the comments. Something. Yeah, yeah, I feel you, Alex. Yeah. Is there anyone you invited to season one or two that turned you down? Yeah, so season one, I invited Devious and Alkin, but both of them said no. Season two, everybody said no except for Foe. 
Faux had a very good reason, though, because the days that we filmed were the days that he spent with his wife. So he wasn't able to be a part of it because of that. Very valid reason. Spend time with your family. Spend time with your wife. Hopefully for next season, Faux can uh, we we can figure out a time that works for Faux and and us and and we can all be together. I, I'd love to have him on. Thank you so much, Ara. That's so nice of you to, to share the series outside of uh, of your friend group and stuff like that. So uh, I appreciate you. Thank you. I'm seconding second said seconding HD graphics. Yeah, I, I've already answered this, but. I, I will not be doing HD, HD graphics. I, I think a lot of people actually don't like HD graphics. I think the safer option for the broader community is to use graphics like this. Just the standard get RuneScape graphics. Um, the HD graphics would actually put off a lot of people from watching, uh, from watching the show, I think. Mr. Poopy Butthole, my man. Good to see you, brother. Imagine being in a loving relationship. Did anybody mess up their lines or testimonials more than others? Yeah. Um, a lot of the time, like, for example, Framed and I would take forever to film our confessionals because... We would just laugh at one another. Like we would just constantly be making jokes. So sometimes it was really tough to get through them because we were just laughing the entire time. So he definitely uh, messed up a bunch, but that was mainly because I was part of the reason he messed up. Thanks, uh, Mister Yves or Yes. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. What's the Google survey? Where do I find it? It's it's in the description of this video of this live stream. You can find the Google survey. So let me show you guys some. Um, I got a lot of questions this season about about how I filmed the stuff. So l let me show you guys uh, something. So Gilinar Games B-roll shots are done with, um, you know, with the Orb of Oculus. As you guys can see, if you get really close up, it looks very smooth. It looks really cool. Um, and and it, it gives you this, like, you know, these, like, overhead shots and stuff like that, which you guys see in the episodes. But the biggest factor to making them look very smooth and very clean is the GPU plugin. So if I turn it off, I don't know if you guys can notice this, but the GPU plugin, it's way more pixelated. Um, the lines on the characters are way more jagged, as you guys can see. You see how, how jagged it is when I do that? When you turn on the GPU plugin, everything becomes smooth. Look how smooth it becomes. Everything becomes very smooth. So the trick, if you guys are wondering how we film that, the GPU plugin and the uh, the Orb of Oculus are the, the the biggest um the biggest reasons why it looks so good. A lot of anti-aliasing, a lot of uh, smoothing up the lines. So if you guys are wondering, that's how we film that stuff. Yeah, that's how we do it. Thoughts on asking older RuneScape creators mentioned in the chat, like Moteplox, Rune Shark, on the show. I mean. It's a really cool idea, but here's here's where I look at it from my perspective, right? So, inviting people onto the show who don't play RuneScape full time, like who who aren't doing RuneScape content creation, um, who aren't doing RuneScape content creation as their full time job, it's a kind of a nightmare to schedule those people to be on the show because if they have a full time job and they're consistently not able to film an episode because they have to work in real, you know, they have to work their job. It can lead to a nightmare for, you know, scheduling purposes. It could actually elongate the season way more. Also, from a marketing standpoint, you ideally want to have popular people on the show. The reason this series did way better than season one is because we had a lot of big names on the season. Torvesta, Bodhi, you know, we invited those big boys on. Settled came on, you know. So... To me, it's most important to secure a lot of the, the big RuneScape content creators in the scene. And after that, I look towards, you know, inviting some new faces on who I also think would, would be good on the show. Yeah, and of course, the, the draw distance is way... Like, like oh, look how far the draw distance is. The GPU plugin, you go from you go from this to this. Like, makes such a massive difference.
Mr. Mammal or Will or Alfie. Would love to see them. Yeah, like I said, fill out the survey below, below the live stream. Let me know who you want to see on the season. And based off of your feedback, that's probably who I'll invite on. How did you decide the teams for season two? There were a few teams I thought would work better together. I just grouped them up on who I on based on how I thought they would work together. Um, some teams really worked out. I think all the teams were great, to be honest with you. It's just unfortunate that some teams get eliminated before others do, you know? So, yeah. Uh, was Odoblock not considered? No, I've always considered Odoblock. I just didn't know if he would ever want to be on. But I've talked to him, uh, and he seems like he's interested in coming on. I did this at the beginning of the live stream. Odoblock is one of those people who's got a massive fan base. He's controversial. I don't think he's going to deny that, but he's a. I think he's a great guy. I, lo I love watching his streams. But if I were to ask you guys, if I were to ask the chat right now to to say yes or no to having him on the show, I guarantee you the chat would be a mix of yeses and nos. It, it would be a yes and no. I think some people want to have him on. I think others don't. So the, the, it would, it, it, it's that controversy factor. You know, it's risky. Uh, I guarantee you the chat would be a mix of yes and nos. Like, so I... <laughs> you know, like like you guys see right now, it's just yes and no's. Y'all are OGs from the Repcape days, my man. His fan base would be so mad if he got voted off. It'd be they might get mad, yeah. But to be honest with you guys, like those are the people you want to have on a reality TV show. You want to have the controversial people on. You want to have the people that make you comment on the video, that that make you happy, that piss you off. Like that that's the formula, right? For uh for a good series. So the more to me that people don't want somebody on the show, the the almost more tempting it is to have them on, you know? <laughs> Thanks, Run DMV. Thanks. Uh, I, I I promise you guys, I'll, I'll have a good cast next time. <clears throat> How do you feel about super early eliminations? I felt like I didn't get to see anything from Flutton, for example. Well, Flutton made it very far on the first season, so you can watch more of her on season one. But again, that's that's part of the sad thing about it, about an episode uh, about Gilnar Games. Any elimination show is going to have people who get eliminated early. That's just part of the show. It's unfortunately not something I'm 100% willing to change. Wooks. <laughs> Do you guys think Wooks would be good on reality TV? Do you guys think Wooks would be a good reality TV contestant? The cast was already lit. I would like to see some people, uh, some creators that don't do PVM or PVP, like some people who make quest guides or 99 guides. Yeah, I mean, I'll, having a good variation is, is, is good. Having a good variation is good. <clears throat> hey, Aurelius, I just want to say you've made me a huge fan of not just with GG, but because of how you interact with your fans and how gracious you present yourself. I, always, I, will, I will always support you in GG. Thank you so much. It's very kind of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. As a director and overall overlord of GG, what is the biggest challenge for you in terms of running the series? I would love to see what the biggest challenges are for behind the scenes. So let, let me give you guys a quick breakdown of of how we of how the season goes, right? So this season worked this way. In January of this year, I sent out invites to every single person I wanted to have on the show. We finalized the cast at the end of January. We set up our first filming day the 20th of February of this year. And this is how uh, a day goes after we film a challenge. We all get on. All the creators get on. We all meet up in game. We film the challenge. It takes about 90 minutes. We then film the voting process. Takes about 15 minutes. We then film the banning. Takes about 30 minutes. So it takes about two to two and a half hours to film an episode. After that, I get into a, a Discord call with each individual competitor who was on that day's episode. I ask them about 10 to 15 questions about what happened during that day's challenge. 
and they give me their answers. And those answers are what you see in the interview clips during the episodes, the confessionals, you know, the, the testimonials. Um, those take a long time because I'd say about 80% of the questions that I ask them and 80% of the responses I get are not used at all. So there's a lot of footage. 90% of the footage I get is not used in the episode either. So there's a huge amount of footage that is never used. Um, after that, I figure out the layout of the episode and what I want the you know direction of the episode to be. I then hop into a Discord with my B-roll team and we film about three hours worth of B-roll for one episode. Um, all the B-roll shots of the overhead shots, you know, the, the, you know, the, the stuff where you guys, you know, see this type of screen, that's all filmed separately. Um, and once I have all that stuff, all that extra footage, then begins the editing process. The editing process includes cutting and splicing all the clips, adding music, figuring out what the direction I want the episode to be. And, um, then the final product happens. So I would say for one episode, there's about 100 plus hours of work that goes in uh, into a single episode. So yeah, probably over over a, a thousand hours of, uh, of of work have gone into this season. Fan interaction is important and it's definitely something I'll consider for uh, the next season, Ronan, 100%. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Tigis. So the next season will feature um, a different voting system. It'll feature a different format. It'll feature different everything. Different challenges, different bannings, different format, different eliminations. You can expect harsher punishments for coming in last. You can expect more rewards for coming in first. And you can expect an overall different season. It's going to be fun. Would you consider a grace period where no one would get eliminated, but there would still be consequences and disadvantages for losing and coming in last? Yeah, like I said, it's tough uh, because I I don't want, like, I don't know. I like eliminations. I like when people get eliminated, but I understand why some people wouldn't like them because they see their favorite creators get eliminated, you know? So... It's something I have to think about for the next season. You're the only RuneScape creator that builds TV level hype waiting for each episode every week. Well, I'm, I'm kind of just following a formula, you know. I decided to test the reality TV show formula in the RuneScape scene. I'm just kind of doing what all the other shows do and, and it works for a reason, you know. Can you have the music credits in the description of the episodes? Yeah, that's something I can do, pal. That's something I can do. Uh, but once again, if you guys ever want to know a certain song from an episode, send me a, de a DM on Discord. Send me a DM on Twitch and, or on um, on Twitter, and I'll gladly get you the link to the song. Yeah, that, that that's a good idea, Joinable. Like, the first episode of the season maybe won't have an elimination. But then again, I don't know. It's exciting having elimination in the first episode. So I, I don't know. I don't necessarily know what I want to do yet. When will you start production on the next season? Um, probably in September, uh, the spring, probably in the spring. How am I feeling today? I'm feeling excited, Josco. I I'm, I'm overwhelmed. I'm so excited to see so many people have questions and so many people interested in the season and in the production process. And I'm very humbled. It it's a very humbling feeling knowing that something you put so much time and effort into making is being received so well and, and, and people are just genuinely interested in your comp. I could I could cry right now. Like it is genuinely it's it's very uh, rewarding. It's very fulfilling to to see all you guys here talking about something I put so hard. I put so much effort in to make. So it's uh it's a very re rewarding feeling. Yeah, I could do like a preseason episode without a doubt. Have you been watching Good Grief? Yeah, I love Good Grief. He's uh, so, 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 so amazing to watch. He's such a cool guy. I love his stuff, man. Genuinely my favorite series at the moment. Next next season in HD, I won't be doing HD. I, I will not be doing HD uh, Gilnar games.
yeah those shots are filmed separately so like let me show you guys like um what do we have here episode one world rush let me show you guys so this is uh this is episode one of gilinor games um as you guys all know the so let me just find like so th like these shots right here right all these shots of the you know the the footage without you know the inventory all these clean moving shots this these aren't actually them doing what they were doing in game the these are people who were in my b-roll discord they all dressed up as the people in the show and they recreated what happened and luckily the they're edited in a way to make it seem like it seems like they were the ones doing it and, and it's edited in a way that you know it kind of seamlessly goes through so like all these shots right here were filmed after the episode already happened or after they were the challenges were filmed you know so these are all people who were dressed up as the other people and um and uh yeah those were just added in in post-production i feel lied to uh so did you guys think that all those shots were uh were them actually doing it huh yeah, those are, those are all B-roll shots. Those are all B-roll shots. We were lied to. Hey, I didn't... I No lying happening here. That's Hollywood, baby. My immersion? <laughs> How did you get B-roll in the fight caves? Uh, B-roll in the fight caves was god-awful. But it's pretty much a case of using the detached camera plugin and fitting the screen in a way to make everything else hide on your screen and um luckily it worked out hollywood soup would uh no eliminations in the first episode but have it be a two-part challenge and a double elimination in the second episode i mean i can edit the first episode to not have an elimination but what i can do is i can have like a cliffhanger where something happens and you don't know what it is cliffhangers are always fun chat right I just finished watching a show called Arcane, League of Legends show on Netflix, and it ended on a huge cliffhanger, and I was like, damn these guys. And then I'm like, that's so smart. I Cliffhangers are the best thing ever, even though we hate them, because it makes you want to watch the next episode right away. Uh, recorded in one go. Honestly, didn't notice. Great job editing. Thanks, man. <clears throat> Where are all these people interacting with you when the stream, when you're on Twitch? Well, hey, Maz, good to see you, by the way, man. Um, <laughs> the majority of my audience is on YouTube, so it's uh, not surprising at all that uh, there's more people watching here than, than on Twitch. I know, the, the blue balls uh, from the finale, Katie, it's, uh, it's brutal, absolutely brutal. A top chef challenge next season cooking dishes from scratch yeah i have i've had some people message me about um a challenge where you have to cook gnome dishes from scratch i think that'd be pretty cool i know arcane will not be out until 2023 dude i i'm so sad show your hair don't have any hair on my head lost it all five years ago thanks to my genetics uh, working with all these creators, did you learn anything from them that surprised you or interested with you that you may not have known before filming the show? Not really. I mean, all of us were really good friends. I did learn that some people just have very good skills in um, things I didn't expect. Like in the finale, did not expect Zulu to be really good at the Source versus Garden. Here we are. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's a. I, I actually became very close with a lot of people from this past season. It was very fun to get into Discord calls with them and talk to them about the show and stuff like that. So, yeah, I definitely built up a lot of personal relationships. What made you do choose to do an individually based final rather than mix basing it on the combined team times? To be honest with you, I was just trying to spice it up a little bit. I was trying to add a twist in there. I don't know if the twist worked, but I was just looking to add a twist to the finale. Sometimes the twists I want to add don't work out. Sometimes they do. So I was just trying to spice it up. Have you tried to grow your beard like your RuneScape character? I used to have a long beard. Well, not long, but I 
I used to have a pretty bushy beard, but I'm not a big fan of having a really big beard, to be honest with you. It makes me look old. Where's the Keeps sponsorship? Keeps. I don't even think Keeps can save me at this point. Any reason for the high shipping cost to Canada for merch? I would love to support, but it comes with $45. Yeah, so, uh, Steph Aldino, the unfortunate thing right now, worldwide, shipping costs in general are just worldwide screwed. Uh, you know, the, you know, the, the pandemic and, um, the Christmas season, the holiday season, shipping costs are just very, very expensive. That being said, check back on the merchandise website because prices can vary every single day. I've had a lot of people from um, Europe and Canada mention to me that they checked back on a different day and the shipping cost went from $40 to like $19. So uh, check back on the merch website every day. The shipping price might go down. Unfortunately, shipping costs in general are just worldwide screwed up at the moment. So it's just something I can't control. If I could offer free shipping, I would. But uh, yeah. By the way, uh, speaking of, of um, free shipping... Uh, well, not a free shipping, but, um, as you guys all know, if you guys haven't seen, we have, uh, you know, lots of merch for this season, um, which is very exciting. We have, uh, you know, we have the neon hoodie design, which I think looks really cool. The Gilinar games, uh, neon hoodie also comes in a t-shirt. We have the, the Gilinar games sandbox design, which, uh, looks very cool also there. And we also have the Gilinar games blanket. You guys can get a Gilinar Games blanket, which I have right behind me, uh, which is also very cool. Uh, the designs are very neat. I think they look very, very cool. So, yeah, um, that link is also below if you guys want to check that out. Uh, if you guys are um, interested in supporting the show and want to rep some merch, rep a blanket. I think if you guys spend over 75 bucks, you get 50% off the blanket. So it's a very good deal. Link below, superrs.store. Check it out. Um, how do you come up with challenges for the games? Do you have a group that runs ideas through you? Most of the challenges I come up with, I come up with, I run through an idea of people and an idea of people. I run through a group of people and they give me feedback on whether or not they think the challenge would be good. If you guys want to know the process for coming up with a, um, if you want to know a process for, for how the, uh, the, you know, the challenge and banning process works, you can think of one yourself, you know, like, Think of a think of a challenge for Gilinor Games that can be done by all the partic participants in under one hour, or in around one hour, would be entertaining for them, and entertaining to put into an episode. That that's kind of the the process I have for coming up with uh, with uh, an episode of GG. Can you show us how many times the stream has been disliked? I don't have the 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 stats of the stream up, so I I don't know what it's at. I wrote this in the survey, but have you looked into that new combat achievements thing for a possible skill challenge? Yeah, definitely. That's something I'd love to. I'd, I'd love to to look further into. Maybe on the next season, um, having stuff like Displate and other partners would uh, would help with the shipping. Yeah, I don't one hundred percent know how it works with shipping costs. I, like I said, I'm profiting pretty much. I'm profiting very little from the merchandise I, I don't care about making money from the merchandise this season i'd rather you guys get a high quality product that you're proud to to represent proud to wear outside um i'd rather you guys just have the merch as opposed to me making a lot of money like i didn't want to come out with ten dollar t-shirts and twenty dollar sweatshirts because usually those are created with material that isn't that great not that comfortable but this time we have the the really comfy blankets. We have the really good quality sweatshirts and t-shirts. I'd rather you guys have the high quality stuff and it might be a bit more expensive, but it's, I want you guys to preferably have better quality. 13 dislikes. Oh no. Do you have any test runs done of a challenge before you do them? Yeah. So, um, most of the time, before we do a challenge, I do a test run with a couple of accounts to make sure we're able to do everything, you know? So, for example, for the, the Nightmare elimination, I tested that we could go in there with binds, attack one another, and uh, survive before I decided to make that an elimination. So, I, I have to make sure. I, I test them all before we go in. Look at all the uh, 
<laughs> the snake skins, man. Solo mission. <clears throat> yeah, logistics and merch is, is tough. With, with, lo, lo, like logistics and shipping and all that stuff, it's very tough. Luckily, I have I have my um my agency, my, my agency, my, uh, my the company who I receive sponsorships through. They're Clover Clover Talent, best guys ever. They helped me out with uh, coming out with the merch website and stuff like that. So they, they were very, very helpful and, and are the, the main sources behind that, that website. It, so the idea of a private world is just a hope for now, but it's um, I, I will be contacting them in the near future. Yeah, You said outside, what's that? All dislikes were from C Engineer because you turned off his Discord notifications. XD, bro. Uh, for Vertoso's drawing an item that then get it idea, you could have banned members draw the pictures. Yeah, that that's a cool idea. That could be something pretty neat. That's not even a bad idea. What do you think of doing week to week twists? So, Chef, next season, I don't want to spoil anything, but next season will feature twists week to week. That's all I'm gonna say. So your your, your wish has been received. And will be fulfilled. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be messaging Jagex and giving them a timeline of when I'd like to have the worlds available. Yeah, it's so funny seeing a different side of the YouTubers. Yeah, I mean they they're playing an intense, you know, an a, an intense competition game. You know, so you're gonna see a different side of them for sure. Man, I feel like I'm missing so many questions, guys. I apologize. Uh, lower budget spinoff of Gilinor Games where you fake content. Take content creators and play non-RuneScape party games like Crab Game. That would be a, an amazing game. Uh, amazing idea, Mads. I have been playing so much Crab Game with C Engineer. We absolutely th think it's hilarious. Uh, it'd be so funny to have a RuneScape content creator Crab Game lobby. Like, that would genuinely be so funny. I'd absolutely love that. What's your personal favorite moment from the challenge? Um, good question, man. I, I don't have a single favorite moment. There's so many moments this season that I think were awesome. Like, some eliminations were so good. The Rogue's Den elimination was amazing. Um, I loved the Underground Pass Relay Race challenge. I think just, I don't know, I just love, think it was such a cool idea. Um, I think Solo Missions gameplay the entire season was such an amazing highlight. I don't have a single favorite moment, but there's a lot of individual moments that I, I could choose from that, that were amazing. As somebody who has eczema and is sensitive to shirt materials, rayon and spun cotton won't break my skin skin out like those cheap 80% polyester shirts, 50% polyester is totally worth the price. Well, that's awesome to hear, man. Um, like I said, if you guys have any questions or any, any complaints about any of the merchandise, then send me a DM and I, I can forward it to the, the team behind it and, and give them some feedback. Th again, thank you in advance to every single person who did end up buying some of the merchandise. It's so incredibly awesome. I am so excited to get pictures of you guys wearing it. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm very, very stoked. You have the perfect voice to be a host, no cap. Yeah, if there's one thing I'm happy with, I, I think the, the hosting role was done pretty well this season. I'm, I'm pretty happy with how I did. Solo mission deciding to trick everyone was probably the biggest thing of the season. Solo mission playing the game he did the way he did was um, definitely the the highlight of the season for a lot of people. Uh, in the survey that I that I showed below, he has by far the most votes for MVP of the season. So that 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 says uh, that says says enough. How about working with Jagex to get some old scrapped content that was never released to the public for a challenge? I don't think Jagex loves me that much that they're willing to dig up old content just for me to use for a Gilinar Games episode, but that's a cool idea. It is a cool idea. T content creators you want for the next season? Um, there's a couple of people I'd love to have on. I think Tasty, uh, Tasty, Will, Perp and Ron would be cool. Um foe you know mammal there's a lot of people i want to have on the tough thing is 
is I also want to have a lot of the I also want to have a lot of the current season come back. It's going to be so sad for me to not invite certain people back when I want to have everybody come back. So I it's going to be I feel like I'm going to break a lot of hearts. I I think some people just aren't going to be able to come on that I want to have on and it's going to be really sad. Solo mission is in the chat. Solo, you are the MVP, my friend. No Oda block. I also like I said I I also would love to have Oda block on. I'd love to have Oda block on. Um I want to have everybody on Gilinor Games. I want to have everybody on. Trust me. I just... I have to... There's... Everybody's fans of different people. I have to... Fi At the end of the day, guys, when it comes to inviting people onto the show, think about what they're going to bring to the episodes. Are, are they going to be funny in their confessionals? Or are they going to bring a, 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 com a com comedic factor, a comedy factor? Are they willing to play a... Are they willing to spice in the episodes up with shit-talking and snaking and being controversial? Are they really good at the game and and will impress people with their with their content, you know? Those are the main aspects you have to look at when inviting somebody onto the show. So, more the most important thing to me is that people are willing to be open and expressive and not be, you know, not be too uh, scared to be on. Uh, so, yeah. No Rog, no love for your boy. I, I love Rog and Lake, man. Like, but like I said, I, I, I can't promise that everybody's going to be on. I don't want to say anybody is guaranteed, except Tasty. Tasty is guaranteed. Um, but I, I, I guess I, I don't know the cast yet, so I don't know. I, I just genuinely don't know. Hey, Soup, how did the B-roll go this season? The B-roll was amazing. The, the B-roll Discord, if you guys didn't know, I had a Discord where I invited people to be B-roll actors for all the characters. I had about a hundred people in there and they were incredibly helpful in helping me re recreate moments from the season that uh, that looked pretty much flawless in the episodes. Would Rarg and, uh, would more cameos of previously eliminated contestants be a good thing? I think most people would enjoy seeing their favorite content creators again outside of the competition. Like I said, man, um, eliminated people who get eliminated from the show, in my opinion, um, you know, they should stay eliminated, but they could come on for cameos. For example, introducing a day's challenge or a day's elimination. Um, but again, it, it's a it's an elimination based competition show. So if a team gets eliminated, it's the end of the road, you know, except if there's a redemption banning like there was this season. Every name you have in mind that I was not thinking of is a potential new streamer slash YouTuber to follow. The more I don't know, the better. Yeah, it's, um, again, like also from, look at it from my end guys, like the people who I invite onto the show from a marketing standpoint, who are the, who, who is it best to have on the show? It's of course the people who have the biggest fan bases. They're going to, all their viewers are going to watch and the, the videos will get more views. But it's also important to invite newer people on to give them a chance to show themselves and introduce them to the creation world. So you have to have a, a bit of a mixture of both, you know, the, the old guard and the new guard. So that's why coming up with a cast can be tough. What was your favorite story this season? Probably Ditter Bitter and Torvesta surviving four straight bannings and making it to a final as well as just solo missions snaky storyline without a doubt thanks wing statue i don't know if the money making challenge is ever going to get old yeah the money making challenge is great the, the thing is for the money making challenge if i do it again do i just take off barrows this time do i say okay this time you guys weren't allowed to use um this time you guys weren't allowed to use, you know, Zolcano, Gauntlet, Black Chins, and now you can't do Barrows. I just think people got very lucky with Barrows this time. So, uh, they... That's the reason why the Barrows played such a big role, you know? Yeah, a, a, a wildy money-making episode could be hilarious. That's a good idea. Ooh, that's a good idea. Making money, but they're restricted to one area. Oh, that's a really cool idea. 
what if I let them choose from four different zones? Each each person has to pick a zone to be in, and the person who makes the most money wins. Whoa. Ladies and gentlemen, we may have just thought of a new challenge. Because that's that's a money-making challenge, but it, it is a twist. It's a twist on the current money-making challenge. It's a cool idea. People love region-locked stuff. So that is a very neat idea. Very neat idea. <clears throat> Opinion, I don't think Snake should be used negatively. Solo Mission really went above and beyond as a cast member. I, I don't think Solo Mission is... I think he he's fine with it. I, I don't think he's viewing all the snaking things as negative. He says it himself. You know, he says, he says Snake himself. So... I think he loved... He said he had no regrets with this season. I'm incredibly thankful for how he played the season because I think he upped the ante with everything and made it way more exciting. So I'm, I'm very thankful for him. I will pick Karamja, sorry. Verf, are you sure you know that area well enough? Yeah, Carl could be a cool idea. Challenge idea. Craft the highest level item you can as a team from scratch with a 10-minute timer. You know, I should, um... I should, uh... For all of you guys who have challenge ideas, I should create a challenge idea channel in Discord. And, um... Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm going to, okay, I'm going to open up Discord. If I swear, if C Engineer starts messaging, messaging me again, oh my God, I, I will, I will hurt him. I will genuinely hurt him. Um, text channels. GG challenge and banning, banning ideas. Okay. Let me server settings. I'm like, yeah, I jinxed it. I jinxed it. Invite people. Never generally. Okay, cool. So I'm going to invite you guys all to the Gilinor Games Discord. Um, I created a channel in there called GG Challenge and Banning Ideas. If you guys have any ideas for a challenge or a banning you'd like to see, then post it in that channel. And if I like it enough, I'll include it in the next episode or in the next season of GG. So there's the uh, there's the Discord link. Put Solo Mission and Flutton on a team. Uh, I'm just going to put everybody on the same team. One team of 20. How about that? One team of 20. What if you made a joke remake of an episode where skill specs plays and voices every contestant? That would be a funny episode. That would actually be a super funny episode. That actually would be really funny. Trivia, but RuneScape history questions. Yeah, trivia is tough. I like RuneScape trivia. I just, it's always tough because I feel like certain questions are just always going to be naturally harder than others. So... I don't know if I'll do trivia again. If I do, I'm going to probably put a twist on it. All I can say is free free agents sounds so spicy. Ooh, dude. Solo, if I could tell you. See, actually, Solo, I think what I'm going to do next time, I'm just, I can call you Joel too. Um, I probably won't tell you guys what's going to, what the format of the season is going to be until the day of episode one um that way you guys are signing up for the season but you don't know what's going to happen so you literally are finding out what what's going to happen you know the day we start filming which i think would be uh more exciting yeah dean that can be difficult without a doubt oh my god dude like 500 people just joined the discord Holy freaking moly. By the way, for you guys who are wondering, my main Discord, um, 
my main discord that i use personally for just myself is is this one right here so if you guys aren't in that either you can hang in there and um and join us there in there are you single i am i am single i'm ready to mingle my name's uh stefan in real life stefan if you um are from germany uh, I sit in my room for 10 hours a day editing Gilinor games seven months of the year. So if that's in if that interests you, then um, yeah, sign of the DMs. You know how it is. RuneScape Jeopardy instead of trivia. That way you can make harder questions and let the cast decide how difficult of a question they want. I could have eliminated competitors come on and ask their own question. You know, that, that wouldn't be a cool idea. Stefan, we have a lot in common. Let's go. I love your name, by the way, man. Love your name. Since this is like a game show, do you think copying another show's format but in RuneScape would be good? To be honest with you, man, the past two seasons of Gilinor Games, the format was already used in other shows. Teams of two, big team versus big team, it's all been done before. The best thing I can do is you probably just copy a very popular season of a popular reality TV show, use the format they used, add a couple of twists to it, and boom. We have hopefully a successful season. So damn good looking for a single dude. Thanks, Nick. Three hours and still streaming. Yes, yeah, Sid, this is the longest I've streamed in years. Genuinely in years. How you doing, by the way, Sid? How was your day? You're German. Can you speak German fluently? Ich kann. Ich rede nur Deutsch. Nee, ich kann Deutsch und Englisch reden. Mein Vater kommt aus Deutschland. Um, aber ich kann Deutsch reden, ja. Yeah. Mein Deutsch ist nicht perfekt, aber um, ich kann meistens über alles reden. Also, ja. Bro, I love this stream listening while doing some solo Sarah and having a blast. Hell yeah, Ryan. Hell yeah. Uh, did you low-key want Eviescape and Skiddler to win streak uh, through the return of the band? Yeah, it was tough for me because... I wanted them to complete that redemption arc that they that they almost did in the Redemption Island. But uh, I also love Jimmy and Settled. So to me, it was a win-win, whoever won that last episode. Uh, and, but seeing Jimmy and Settled come back, you know, everybody loves Jimmy and Settled. So I, I was very happy to see them back. And there's also something about them making it all the way until the final hurdle and just failing that added that extra dramatic... Um, what the hell? It added that extra drama factor, and uh, I think that just added to the episode, you know? I live in the U.S. I talk respect super Deutsch. Danke, Fleming. Danke, danke. For two years I was in Deutschland, in München, but hopefully next year I can... Uh, Komme ich wieder. War, war schon seit so langer Zeit, als ich da war. Uh, that episode was such a rush. Loved it. Did you purposely make the finale one PVM and one at PVP to force a game three in a longer episode? So I, I originally, I want. So the finale was tough because I wanted it to include all aspects of the game into the finale: PVM, PVP, and then a random skilling-ish type challenge. You know, um, but. It, it, it was interesting because do you guys think Ditter and Torvesta would have won the PVM challenge if Ditter wouldn't have died? Like, I actually think it would have been close. I it actually think I actually I, I don't know if it would have been enough, but I think it would have been close. So it, it could have been spicy. Yeah, Joe, I, I like the idea of the fin the, the finalists drafting teams from a previously eliminated competitors i really like that idea yeah thanks tris man thank you it's so odd hearing you speak german just tuning in here you speak german wer hier redet deutsch bin ich der einzige redet noch einer hier deutsch oder bestimmt Ein paar deutscher sind hier oder oder bin ich der einzige um 25 buttholes in the next gg 25 buttholes the thing is do, I, I don't think I've ever heard 25 buttholes speak before. So would he just 
use his robot voice? Like, I don't, I don't even know. Ich, ich auch. Ich rede auch Deutschland. Ich bin aus Deutschland. Ah, toll. Wo in Deutschland? Süd, Nord. Ich habe für, ich habe was, fünf Monate studiert in Marburg. Ungefähr eine Stunde entfernt von Frankfurt. Um, ich habe da fünf Monate studiert. Um, ich, das war meine Lieblingszeit einfach da fünf Monate äh, zu studieren. Also, es hat so viel Spaß gemacht. Es hört sich einfach falsch an, äh, dich Deutsch zu, zu reden zu hören. Ja, yeah, probably, weil ich nur Englisch rede und jetzt rede ich Deutsch. Das hat äh, keiner gedacht, dass ich Deutsch rede und jetzt rede ich Deutsch. Also, das ist bestimmt lustig. Um, ich bin nicht Deutsch, aber ich spreche Deutsch. Nice. I'm sure a lot of you probably took German classes at some point in your life. So, yeah. The robot vo uh, voice would be cool. Rhein Rheinland-Pfalz, also Südwesten. Okay, toll. Ich bin Bayern München Fan. Ich bin liebe Bayern München. Ich war schon seit Kind ein Bayern München Fan. Also ich liebe München. Ich liebe so Garmisch, diese, diese Städte in Süddeutschland. Also... Um, wenn, wenn jemand sagt, dass die aus München kommen, dann, dann bin ich immer, äh, das freut mich. Um, do you think the order of the challenges in the finale would have changed things? What if the order was the Garden PvP and then God Wars? Yeah, that definitely would have changed things. Um, but my, my hope, my goal was, not my goal, but what I thought was going to happen did happen. I was hoping it would go to a third challenge and it did and I you know then I could introduce the banning so genau bei den Bayern Flagge genau ich komme auch aus Bayern Südbayern gut 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 ich war schon nie beim Bayern Spiel ich war schon nie im Allianz Arena hoffentlich kann ich das nächstes Jahr machen oder 2004 2023. Mal sehen. Das ist mein Ziel. Nächstes Jahr Bayern-Spiel zu gucken. Im Stadion. How do you feel knowing you're gonna lose the opportunity of doing a dual arena anti-scamming challenge? God, I've never heard anybody suggest that challenge before, but that's not a bad idea. Yeah, there will be a VOD of this live stream. There will be a VOD of this live stream. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Without a doubt. Ja, ich war schon zweimal in der Schweiz. Schon zweimal. Für zwei Tage, ich glaube. Zwei, drei Tage. Aber das war vor acht Jahren. Acht, acht neun Jahren. You'll never walk alone. Oh, I see we have a Chelsea fan in here. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. A Liverpool fan. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, for season two, maybe add two random players selected from your fan base. Yeah, I was thinking of, ha of ha having a completely random person on the show, you know. Um, people who are RuneScape fans and would have the opportunity to be on the show. I have to figure out if it's worth it scheduling-wise, but uh, we'll see, we'll see. It must be nice being one of three people who speak German in this chat. No, I, I'm still majority English. Don't worry. I just get excited when I can speak German again because I very rarely get to speak German now that I'm no longer in Germany. I still speak it with my dad. My dad and I speak German to one another. But um, I just get excited to, to practice my German. I feel like my German has gotten worse over the past three years. I definitely need to improve on it. So whenever I get the chance to speak it, I, I try to speak it. When do you start working on Gilinor games? So I'll probably come up with the f the official format and the challenges for this season in January. So I'm going to take a couple months. Uh, I'm probably going to take a couple months off just to relax, spend some time for myself. Um, and then I'll start planning season three probably next year. Oh, okay. Gotcha, Ray Life. Gotcha, gotcha. Good morning from Australia. Good morning, Danielle's life. How are you doing? Thanks for tuning in. Is that your full-time job? Yeah, so RuneScape YouTube videos are my full-time job. Uh, luckily, 
the introduction of Gilinor games has let me kind of do Gilinor games as a full-time job, but I still upload other videos during the year to try to fill a gap while I'm preparing the Gilinor games challenges and, uh, and videos. Would you ever consider starring yourself in a challenge? Uh, I prefer hosting. I think hosting is way more fun. Young J Official, what's up, my man? Uh, I watched the series. I love it. One thing I wonder throughout the series, it was that one question I had in mind. When is the next season dropping? I don't have a did I don't have a confirmed date for you all, but I can confirm that the next season will happen next fall. So 2022, most likely the last few weeks of October, um, is my guess when it will start. So about a year. I'm sorry, guys, but. There's a huge process that goes into these episodes and I have to make sure that the quality stays good. I have to make sure that I'm putting the time and effort into it to keep it going strong. I don't want to rush out a season. The worst thing I can do is lower the quality and rush out a season. So, yeah. Ich finde dein Deutsch ist wirklich sehr, sehr gut. Man merkt uh, ganz leicht, dass es nicht die Muttersprache ist, aber auf jeden Fall, dass du es schon lange oder durch familiäre Gründe gelernt hast. Yeah, my German definitely is not perfect. Um, I, I didn't learn it as my mother tongue, like you said. Uh, but I was able to... I'm able to understand pretty much everything. I'm not able to say everything. But uh, like I said, I, I think my German's gotten worse. So I, I want to keep continuing to, to practice speaking it. So any of my, my fellow Germans, feel free to send me... Honestly, if you are... From Germany, I'd love to continue to, to DM with you on Twitter or Discord. Let's just talk about anything you want to talk about. That way I can practice speaking and, and my writing German. So yeah, uh, uh, seriously, seriously. I'm curious how you would spend your normal days when you were not busy with GG because your regular videos aren't time-consuming progress, uh, aren't a time-consuming progress series either. Yeah, I mean, to be honest with you, Verp, of course, it's way less stressful not having to worry about editing GG. So most of my time, when I'm not editing GG is mainly just either A, playing other games um, and relaxing a little bit because I know that the, the upcoming task of GG episodes is going to be a lot. And the other ones is just, I, I work a lot on like practicing with editing and Photoshop and stuff like that. Um, so a lot of the stuff I, I practice isn't necessarily uploaded to YouTube, you know. Are you going to bring back subs like in season one? I'll probably have alternates people who can fill in if something really bad happens, but I honestly prefer that there isn't a, that there aren't subs. You know, I think people like it better when, uh, I think people like it better when somebody isn't there randomly for an episode, you know? Where's the discord link? I don't see it. Uh, I got you, my friend. That is my main Discord. If you guys ever want to talk to me or have any suggestions for me, that's the Discord. Join there. Say what's up. Feel free to talk in there all the time. I'm always in there. Hey, Infected. Great series. Would you maybe consider doing some GG challenges in during one of the leagues? It could mix it up in an interesting way. Or do you not see this as realistic? It It's realistic, but it's all about it's all timing. This season's leagues is happening in January and February. I believe so timing wise it it could work out actually it could work out that we film a, a, a challenge on the leagues world could be interesting could be interesting the, the the toughest thing with scheduling is all the a lot of the competitors are doing this in their free time they're, they're doing it out of the uh, the kindness of their hearts i'm not paying them in real life money to be on the show might change for the next season depending on how much money we're able to raise but um obviously i don't want to take up too much of their time every week filming these challenges so i know that whenever a big piece of content comes out like dead man mode like the league season i don't want to take them away from producing content so i, I need to find a good a good time to do it yeah astro 100 i'm very excited to be back in the deutschland Thanks, Chris. Thank you. Thank you. Is Solo still trying to get you in a call? We heard it. Nah, it's probably C Engineer again, man. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. 
Eviescape and Ditter Bitter were very good about being on the challenge this season. If you guys didn't know, Ditter Bitter, the reason he may have seen pissed off half of the season is because he was waking up at 7 or 8 a.m. every day or every week to, to be part of the challenge, right? So the reason he may have seen annoyed is because he was doing these challenges at like 7 or 8 a.m. his time. That would piss a lot of people off. Imagine you guys had to wake up and film a RuneScape challenge where you're dying and messing up. That would piss you off too. So if he, he may have seemed a bit annoyed, it's that was a, a big reason why. As someone who's only had German in school, your German is very clear and incredibly easy to understand. It makes me want to freshen up my German skills. Hey, we can practice with another, with one another, man. We can practice. We'll 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 talk. Du redest Deutsch und ich rede Deutsch. Und dann wird unser Deutsch besser. What inspired you to do Gilinar games? So I'm a massive fan of Survivor, but my my absolute favorite show is a show called MTV's The Challenge. If you guys have ever watched it before, my absolute favorite show. If you guys do watch it, I'm sure you've seen I'm sure you've seen the similarities between the two shows. The challenge is a show just like Gilinor Games. People are invited on. They compete in challenges. They compete in eliminations. They get voted off. There's voting. There's drama. It's my absolute favorite show. If you guys like Gilinor Games, look up a show called MTV's The Challenge. Start watching during season 21. It's a, it's a season called Rivals. Amazing, amazing uh, challenge show. If you guys like this type of format with challenges and bannings and voting and elimination then 100% check out the show. Hey, snack food. Yeah, it can be hard. In fact, it can be hard. I've never seen a show called The Taskmaster. No, uh, Konal, I have not. I have not. Yeah, the challenge is great. Perp's story was the highlight of the season. Perp would, Perp would be hilarious to have on the, the third season. I think Perp would be so funny. I just watched your new video. You speak, you really speak your mind for a minute. I thought you were, you're too harsh, but I guess someone has to speak up. I love Gigi. I love you. Keep it up. Thanks, Carolus. Uh, wh where did you think I was being too harsh? I try to be an all around good guy. I try not to be too harsh. So I apologize if I came off that way. <laughs> Total Drama Island. Yeah. Total Drama Island was the main inspiration for Gilinar Games. Exactly. Do you have a favorite old school RuneScape content creator yourself? Man, so many good content creators. I've been watching a guy called Good Grief. He has a Fremenic only Ultimate Iron Man series, which is amazing. Um, I watch pretty much all my friends I watch. Jimmy, Settled, Sea Engineer, Frame, Solo Mission, Burf. All those guys, man, I, I watch all their content. What sparked the idea of Gilinar Games? <laughs> I just, I wanted to come, I was looking to come up with a unique idea in a pretty oversaturated RuneScape scene, right? A lot of the content has been done before, and I was trying to think of an idea that nobody's ever done that I think people would like. And I thought, hey, I love Survivor. I love the challenge. I wonder if I could create a reality show on RuneScape. And we did, and I think it's gone well. I, it's been a lot more work than I thought it would be, but I think it's turned out pretty well. And I think, uh, I think people have, have found it great to watch. Yeah, I've watched a bit of the amazing. I've watched a bit of the Amazing Race, definitely. Kids who don't kids don't know about MTV The Challenge. Our generation grew up on that. Yeah, man, like the the late two thousands, early twenty tens challenge uh, seasons were so so good, man. The challenge seasons recently have been a bit rough, but hopefully they get better soon. When is season three happening? Next fall. Fall of 2023. Thanks, Eric. Do you think Gilinar Games is going to win a Golden Gnome? I don't even think Golden Gnomes are happening this year. Jagex hasn't said anything, so... I don't think it's going to happen this year, boys. I want the blanket. The blanket is awesome. I have the blanket right here behind me. I have the blankets. It's such a cozy blanket. If you guys didn't know... GG stands for Gilinar Games. Superrs.store. Sorry, yeah, I meant 2022. I meant 2022. Sorry, 2022. 
Randy Thomas, thanks for the five bucks, man. I love you. Thank you very much. Have you watched Squid Game? Yes, I've watched Squid Game. I loved Squid Game. I'm, I actually don't like the way Squid Game ended. I think it should have ended the way... I think he should have kept walking, if you know what I'm talking about. But it's. Uh, I'm excited for season two. What's this stream for? I'm just doing a Gilinar Games question and answer. We're going to finish up here soon. We've been live for four hours, so I'll answer a few more questions and, and we'll chill out. <clears throat> what was your favorite challenge from GG Season 2? The Underground Pass Relay Race was by far my favorite challenge. By far my favorite challenge. How long does it take you to become a full-time content creator? I've been making RuneScape videos for over 10 years. Uh, it became my full-time job in 2017. Um, my first year of making full-time videos, I made like $18,000. So I wasn't exactly doing too hot. But uh, through a lot of dedication and, um, and and a lot of challenging moments, we were able to, to, to start doing a lot better. So um, yeah, shout out to all you guys who support the episodes and uh, are, are watching all my content. Hi, Soup. For Season 3, do you think you'll incorporate the NA versus EU rivalry like you did in Season 1? I thought that made the competition really interesting. There's definitely going to be some very interesting challenges in Season 1, or from Season 1 and Season 2 that I'm going to re-include in Season 3. And that includes rivalries and twists on um, current and old challenges. So, yeah. My favorite thing about the RuneScape creator scene is all the genuinely passionate people there are. The the RuneScape content creator seen as some of the best content creators. And I think you guys can, can all agree that there are some amazing people in the scene. My personal favorite. Um, I, I think that we have the best content creation scene out of any gaming community. There is no bias in that statement at all. Ich gehe jetzt schlafen. Ich werde in deine direkt Nachrichten schleichen, Stefan. Gut. Snake Mission. Gut, gut, gut. Bis, uh, bis morgen oder bis nächsten Mal, uh, Fleming. Danke, danke. Considering the upcoming cast, you have expressed your preference for having content creators with the, within the screen scene. Does this extend to RS3? <laughs> I mean, if a RuneScape 3 content creator is interested in being an old school RuneScape guild in our games, that, that, that could work. Yeah, that could work. We skip in 2022? No, we're not skipping. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. More women in season three. Yep, definitely going to have more more women in season three. I have some awesome ladies in mind for the next season. Hopefully we can have three or four uh, of, uh, of our ladies in the RuneScape content creation scene um, beyond the next season. Get some more, get some, some better diversity. So it's not this damn sausage fest with all these guys, bro, right? Like, damn. Did anything happen in GG that you didn't see or like? Not really. There wasn't anything that I decided to cut out completely because I didn't think it would do well. Um, I don't think so. If anything does pop up, I'll let you know. Do a red light, green light wilderness challenge to get to the agility course. That's <laughs> a red light, green light in Wordscape would be funny. I wonder how we would do that. Is Bodhi coming back for season three? Yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll invite Bodhi back. If he comes on, of course. I think Bodhi didn't like the fact that a lot of people were using the wiki and plugins. He said that I think the only way he wants to come back is if we make that more strict. You know, no wiki usage, no plugins and stuff like that. So I'll have to figure it out. How did you make how did you make all the B-roll cinematics and the coordination of the good contestants, for example, at the duel arena walking up simultaneously? So <clears throat> I was in a B-roll Discord. And what I would do is I would have everybody dress up who was everybody who was helping out with the B-roll. They'd all dress up as the participants. And then I'd kind of just tell them what to do. I'd say three, two, one, go. They'd walk from point A to point B and boom, we filmed the clip. We did that thousands of times in order to get the right shot. So that was the way we filmed all the B-roll shots. Usually it was literally just like, okay, you need to run from here to here. You need to do this on go three, two, one, go. 
they would do it. I'd start recording. Boom. There, there's the B-roll shot. Thanks, uh, Espen. Have a nice night, man. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah. So, guys, I have wa uh, I'm very, very hungry. I have to go eat some dinner. I'm so thirsty. I'm. I wish I could stay around and answer all your questions. But to be honest with you, most of the questions I'm seeing are questions I answered previously earlier in the live stream. So, if you guys want, um, after this stream finishes, the video will go live. I believe on my channel. And you'll be able to um, you will be able to rewatch the video. And if you missed it earlier in today's live stream, I had a bunch of the competitors on Solo Mission, Ditter Bitter, Vertoso, Zulu, Ver, Frame, Siege Engineer, um, uh, Jimmy. They were all there. They talked about their experiences this season, and um, you can rewatch the video and, and listen to them. So, Ver, thanks for hanging around all the stream, man. You're a beast. Love you, brother. Um, finally. How many hours of raw footage do you have? To give you guys an idea of how much raw footage I have, the Gilinor Games 2 folder on my computer has over one terabyte of footage. We have over one terabyte of, of footage from B-roll, all the footage from all the competitors, audio, music, graphics. It all adds up to over a terabyte. So a lot of unused footage, to say the least. A lot of unused footage. Um, so yeah, there was a lot, a, lot of, a lot went in. A lot went into it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave you guys with, uh, a couple of links. Um, if you guys want to, uh, talk to me more, if you guys are looking to ask any more questions, if you have any dire questions you want to ask me, uh, join the discord, discord.gg slash soup uh, make sure you guys all click that link to join my discord. We can talk more there. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, once again, in the description of this stream, you guys will see a link to the merchandise store. Feel free to grab yourself a shirt, a sweatshirt, a blanket, any way to, to support GG if you want some really cool looking merchandise there. There's also in the description a link to a survey about season two, where I'm asking for your feedback on this past season. And you guys can let me know your thoughts about the season and your feedback will be a, a, an important part in deciding what I want to do for the next season. So. Yeah, those are the main links I have for you. And that's pretty much it. How many hours went into each episode? About 100 hours. About 100 hours per episode, I'd say. About 100 hours. Um, so yeah, I love you all very much. Again, I'm sorry if I couldn't answer all your questions. But uh, yeah, I love you all. Thanks for watching the Gilinar Games reunion live stream. And I'll see you all again soon, hopefully for a, a new video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.